Hi, chat. <clears throat> I think I've got a bit of a cough today. Hi. Hi. Let's turn down the music a bit. How are we? How are we? I know Gage is still there. <laughs> I decided it's best I don't move him. Maybe it's it's a sign. <laughs> We've got to keep Gage there. He's got to stay. <coughs> educating the East and Miskiff is the only Miskiff that matters. Uh, uh, educating the East and Miskiff and is the only Miskiff that matters. Yes. <laughs> I agree with that. Fuck real Miskiff. Hey, that guy. Um, That Miskiff. Educating East End? We like that Miskiff. Um, how are we all today, chat? How are we? How are we doing? Scallop Barlow, look at the background. Do you see that? Is Scallop Barlow activated? Because I can't see it. Is it activated? Hold on, let me pull up my chat arena. I suppose I'll be able to see then. What are we seeing? Oh, no, I don't see it, but maybe that's just a me thing. Is it? I don't know. If it isn't, I'll make sure it is for next stream. You're good? Good! You can see it? Okay, great. That's brilliant. I've just not got it my end, which is irritating. Well, hold on, let me pull up my stream. If I pull up my stream, we... Oh, I'll probably see it. Hold on, let me... Channel... Hold on, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it is just on stream. I don't know why. How odd. Um, that's fun. I'm glad we can see it. Does that mean we also have the voices? Do we also have the voices now? Do we know? We do indeed. We do. We do. How slow. Still strange that we can't see it on here. Don't know why that is. Um, bit odd. Stream elements, why are you pissing about? Stream elements doesn't like me very much, it seems. Um, don't know why. <laughs> I'm having a look right now, but I, I don't know. Oh well, um, that's fine. <laughs> How are we? I've already asked that. You said you're good. Brilliant. Fantastic. Amazing. I hope everyone has had a good day today. You refresh screen chat? Yeah? No, I've refreshed screen chat. I've refreshed everything on the stream element side. I don't know why. I don't know why it won't do it. Yeah, see? I don't know. I might have to like delete the um delete the browser and then try again. Like the browser source. I don't know. I'll do it after stream. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Maybe I need to use an entire different chat widget. Maybe we maybe it's time we change the chat widget. Sad times. Sad times. Oh goodness. Okay. So plan is leaving yapping to a minimum today because I want to try and get two episodes done and we both know that I yap an awful lot throughout them too so um <laughs> so we're gonna try our best to not yap too much um because I'm a mad yapper I saw a t-shirt what did, what did it say hold on let me put it up I uh I saw a t-shirt I'm like do I buy it no, with my my history of, of yappage? Um, hold on, where is it? It's brilliant. Professional yapper. It says professional yapper. Um, had to screen record and crop it from CapCut. Oh, the finished the edit, by the way. I don't know how to uh, edit, and it's really shit. Have you sent it? You, have you sent it? I 
send it immediate. Exciting, exciting, exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Very, oh, very excited. Uh, the t-shirt, yes. Oh fuck, it's from Shein. I just saw it online. Oh, I won't buy it, but I'll probably see if I can find a different one. Professional Yapper. Professional Yapper. Iconic, if you ask me. I, I think I need, I think I need to buy one like it, yeah. I've also seen one that's brilliant. Oh, actually, I won't tell you about that one, because if I do buy it, I want it to be like a funny thing I wear on stream and you guys go, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> I think that would be funny. So I'll I'll not tell you about that one, but um, from far away it looks like professional tapper. Oh yeah, I'm just a mad tap dancer. You wouldn't know it from my physique, but I tap dance like a madman. <laughs> um, oh god. <coughs> Let's see. Are you, uh, uh. Okay. Let me know when the edit's been sent, and I'll, we will watch it on stream. Very exciting. Very exciting. Arr, keep picking at my fingers. Been, anx a little, a little, ah. Been anxious recently, don't know why. Sometimes it just creeps up on me. Um, and I, I'm a mad finger, like, picker. Nails. Fingers. I. it's bad. I don't have long nails if you can see like my nails are super short because i just i can't grow them i can't do it i'm too yep yeah, always pick up my nails so i just can't grow them simply never gonna have but it is handy because they're not the most like long nails are not the most convenient for me because i don't know how the fuck to use them i've had fake nails twice and i fucking did not know what to do um so convenient because not great for doing my art not great for playing ukulele. Not great for doing a lot of stuff that I do. So I'm not mad at this habit, but it is a little inconvenient. Um, always pick on my nails, like constantly. Yep, yep. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's scent? Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, hold on. Videos. Oh, okay. Pause the music. Pop. Hold the music! Let's pull the Discord over here. And then we can look. This is the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, you should join the Discord. What is the- What? 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 Hold the fuck on, what? What? <laughs> what was that? Hold on, let me change the web audio to be the Discord so you can hear it. What did you just- Cute. This is so slow. <laughs> I can't not laugh at myself. Oh my god, that's so cute though. The little hearts. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. I wasn't made for the edit life. <laughs> That's thank you. Oh my god. That's the stupid ass cup cup pro feature. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. That's so annoying. I I have said it. I have said it a million times before. If Cat Cup Pro was like a one time purchase, you would get a lifetime membership. I'd pay that shit so fast. I'd pay it so fast. It's such an easy software, and like I know it's not the most professional. I'd love to switch softwares, but it's a very big step to switch softwares. Now I'm thinking of doing it this summer. I am thinking of starting to use Premiere Pro this summer, preparing for possible university, just because um, the sooner I start learning, the sooner the better. Um, I, but the, the, the step going into that from CapCut is as scary. It's scary. 
Hit Premiere Pro is scary. Now I'm sure I can edit on it fine and I'll figure it out because at the end of the day it's like other programs. I just need to sit down and fucking do it. But I cannot convince myself to just sit down and fucking do it. So yeah. But yeah, if CapCut pay it, like charge like a pro, uh, like a pro one-time fee, I'd be on that shit so fast. I'd be on that shit so fast. <laughs> it, it's just, it is just superior. Okay. Chat. Is it time we start watching? That was fucking incredible, by the way. That edit. I loved it. I can't not laugh at myself, though. Looking at myself in edits. It's amazing. It's so fucking cool. I can't not laugh at myself because I'm like, oh, God, how did I get here? How did I get to this point? <laughs> like, you tell Sky from a year ago that this is where she'd be and she'd be receiving fucking fan art. Can't point the right direction. Fan art and, um, like, fan edits and shit. I, I would not... <laughs> I'd laugh in your face. Sky, a year and a bit ago, uh, was applying for shit randomly, hoping she would get in. I, she did not. Um, <laughs> she got into one thing, and then that ended up being like a total ball of drama, so she did not stick with it. Um, <laughs> um, messy. But I just applied for loads of stuff. I had like... So I had a thing. Where is it? Is it my... Do I have the notebook next to me? Hold on, let me see. I have so many fucking notebooks. I have this one that... Is it not next to me? That's wild. Why can't I now close the drawer? What the fuck? Why can't I close the drawer? Thank you. Ah! That drawer nearly fell out. Where is it? I'm yapping, but this feels more important. on earth is that notebook there found it um i have this notebook that has had so much stuff in it skylark law moment um and in here somewhere is me talking about like the content plan <laughs> of which there was not much of a plan um <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Game plan. Game plan. Let me read you my game plan from last year. Like, this was January last year. Oh, we are so back. We are so back. We are so back. We're talking about a quick Skylark law moment, and then we'll get into watching the, the show. Um, This was my game plan from, like I say, January last year. Here's the game plan. Stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I did do that for a good while. This was I made this as soon as I hit affiliate. Um cuz the the plan throughout affiliate was just stream every day until I hit affiliate. And I hit affiliate. I started streaming on January 5th and I hit affiliate on January 16th officially. Um then the first thing was stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. I was to make clips on Saturdays. I didn't do that. I did not do that. Edit clips on combo. I did not do that. I did not do that. Post clips on YouTube shorts weekly multiple times. I did not do that. <laughs> I did not do that. Um, interact on streamer discords. Uh, I, mostly just I wanted to make friends for that bit. I was like, I just want to make friends. So And I'd done make fr made friends through streamer discords. So I was like, let's make friends through streamer discords. That one I kind of did. I mean, obviously we're here now and I've, like, I've interacted on Harry's Discord a lot. I was in the Catliente streamer Discord and that's how I've made... That's how I made friends with Ava the Femboy and Lonely Croc was through a um, speed friending event through Catliente's Discord. Um, then apply for su stuff in big box... Apply for stuff, SMPs, stream events, competitions, anything relevant. I did a couple applications, but not like a whole ton. Um, so these are the things I did apply for. I applied, oh no, don't want to say that one out loud. I don't think I do. I don't know if I, <laughs> I, don't know if I do, you know? 
I don't know if I do. I don't think I don't think we'll say that one out loud. Um, <laughs> the first one I'm not going to tell you, but I applied to it on the on January sixth. Um, the second one I'll tell you about. Um, it was on February eighth. I applied for Foolish Gamers Level Host. Um, now I want to make it clear. I fully was aware not getting on that, not getting on that. But the point is, you never get on anything if you don't apply for it. So you might as well fucking apply because the worst they're going to say is no. So that's what I did. I applied knowing I'd get a no or like not get anything really, but it was worth it. Foolish did have a level host. Yeah. <laughs> Life versus the sky. Exactly. If you don't fucking take the leap and do the thing, you're not going to see if you ever succeeded. You're not going to know if it would have worked out. What happened with the streaming? If I hadn't fucking started doing it again, just randomly one night, then I wouldn't have known I'd be here. I wouldn't have gotten here. Um, I wouldn't have met the people that I've met. I wouldn't have made the friends that I've made. I probably wouldn't be going to things like probably TwitchCon next year, Brighton Trip next year. I wouldn't be doing those things if I hadn't have just taken the leap. You've got to just take the leap. You just The worst you'll get is a no. Don't be weird with the things that you do. But the worst you get is a no. Um, okay. Then, oh god. January 13th, I did um, the Jack Manifold... Well, I was nearly on the Jack Manifold advice stream. Um, it was right before my stream. I even put my stream off to see if I could get on it. Um, and I was literally... I was the next person... So the next person, which I was like, fuck. And then I went on to stream and, and just did my stream anyway. So <laughs> I was like, fuck. And I had a good question as well. I don't remember what it was. I just remember it was quite a good question. Um, anyway, it's fine. And then other than that, nothing like applied for just things that have happened. I've noted down a lot of things that have happened just to remind myself of things. Um... Like, in my notes app, I've got so many things that have happened on streams written down just to remind myself of the different milestones. I've got a whole folder. Um, and I didn't realise that a lot of people do this until Tommy Init did his video of being, like, the full history of Tommy Init or something. Um, and he, has a, he had a folder exactly like this. And I was like, oh, everyone does this. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I have a folder with loads of screenshots of every step getting to affiliate, every, like, milestone, everything like that. Every time I've been, like, noticed by someone who I really respect, um, I've got them in a folder. <laughs> Is that cringe? Probably. But, you know, it's fine. Um, I've got, I've just got a lot of, like, a lot of <clears throat> written down ideas what oh my god wait i actually should revisit these because some of these are good some of these are good <laughs> actually <laughs> might have to revisit this because some of these are fucking brilliant um and that's literally it i like had a very short game plan and i didn't stick to it and it's that's why it's taken until like this year for things to really start going forward because this year i don't know what i did it's purely luck. Twitch is a game of luck. YouTube, if you work hard and you make content and you keep pursuing and keep going and improving, you will make money. You will get there eventually. Twitch is fucking luck. Twitch is so luck. YouTube's not. Um, I've already started doing that as well. Yep, yep. I've only got 30 followers on Twitter, so that says a lot. 40. Hell yeah. I mean, it, the sooner you start, the better. <laughs> um, was one of your milestones watching Miss Kim as a teacher on Twitch? Yes. No, absolutely that was. And speaking of which, let's see if he's in this episode. Let's see if he's in this episode. <sighs> Ew. Hello. Foot shop. Morning. Didn't want to start with the foot shop. I'm not cool with that. Can never have you better be. Do. I fucking hope so. But it's all fine. I'm watching it for him. Being a head teacher <laughs> can keep you awake at night quite a lot. 
you constantly asking yourself the question of, okay am i doing the right thing i wonder what this episode is going to focus on 900 kids in your care and you feel responsible for every single person mrs smith she has okay, such a basic name do, sorry just she just has like the most generic you feel you're going mad. head okay, teacher you're name i had a head teacher Let called mr know. smith <laughs> all right please and Ms. i think we, we had a mrs smith leader. as well right, i will see you shortly in the they weren't meeting. married okay okay bye Morning, ladies. Apologies for that ad break. Good I do prefer the 30 second ad breaks, to be honest. Did you miss us? I think I'm sure you guys do too, but I fucking way prefer them. For so many of our kids, this is okay. their sanctuary and their security and their stability. Sure it is. But a lot of time, they often don't have at home. Sure. Thank you. For some of those kids, it's literally where they wish they were dead. Parents break up or you split up in the game, or whatever else in the game. And that's why the relationships I don't know. and support that we offer are hugely, hugely important. It's the first day of a new half time. Oh my god, Miss Kiff is in this episode! Look! Okay, it's the so fucking- They're focusing on the kid that's like an, Ingrid, an English, English fan. fan. And he first like, question. is super into Shakespeare. Do you believe in Miss the of love at first sight? I just want you to think about this for a second. Jeb, I know your hand will go so oh. Start us off, please. It's a good day. Like it's a good day. I like them, yeah, but you don't know how their, what their personality is or anything. <laughs> they <laughs> could be a white bee. But just a right like, bee? It could be a right bee. Yeah, bitch. Oh, right. Uh, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> he was like, I didn't want to say it, but you've made me now. He's been at Frederick Bremer for just a year. Okay. I got chucked out of my last school because of bad behaviour. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, right, mad getting, lad over here. Teachers a lot. So, hold on. So, he's like okay, meant to be this hopeless romantic in this so story, this but he's also a little right. shit. I don't remember a time when I didn't know Jeb. Sure. Because I think he's always been on my radar. So it's got the idea of confusion and the idea of being difficult. Bear with me a second, Jeb. Let me just finish and I'll come to you. Jeb came to us in year nine with a patchy track record. Okay. And we've worked very, very hard Sorry, on I'm... engaging him in school and working with his strengths. And when he's on form, he's fabulous. Did my heart love to him now? For I swear, it's like... Like Shakespeare. For I ne'er saw true beauty. I thought with Shakespeare. I have a book called um, Shakespeare's Sonnets Retold. And it's Shakespeare's Sonnets written in modern day English. Highly recommend it if you're studying Shakespeare, Shakespeare at all. My favorite story um, and if you're interested in English, it's a very good book. Hi, di Hi from yeah, Kazakhstan. Oh my goodness. Hi. Welcome. We're watching Decap, Educating right? the East End. It's not really a long time ago, is it? No, but it's set. It's still the language is all set in Shakespeare's time. They didn't change the language, did they? Gently. Oh. Jeb, I'm not gonna pass it back to you. Again. I just put smashing stuff. Ted was not nice. <laughs> that was <laughs> just like the. He's not getting. He's not happy. He's not happy. Romance. There's. Miss Kiff's mad. There's like different stuff in it. Oh, I hope you're having a good day, at Bros Gamer. Yeah, I do. Why might we be interested, considering we're our okay. control assessment is going to be on the relationship between parents and children, why might we be particularly interested in Capulet's reaction here? You just want the ball, Jeff, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm Victor, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Victor. I'm Sky. Uh, this is, this is my stream. We, we chat, we yap, and we just make a lot of jokes. I think it was around Christmas Day or after that. And... I found it hard to deal with it. Oh shit, wait. It's hard or I didn't show it a lot. Wait, what I did he say? It up. Parents. Okay. You just want the ball jab, don't you? It could start arguments between their parents. Okay, it could start arguments between the parents, possibly. My parents split up. Oh, Christmas. his parents split up. Ooh, Christmas. I think it was around Christmas Day or after that. Around Christmas Day. That's um, heartbreaking. I found it hard to That's deal with actually it. really that's hard, sad. I didn't show it. Also, chat, remind me not to but Google anyone really after hard. this episode. I don't want a repeat of last time. Please. Just remind anyone. me not to Google anyone, Struck please. Anger, Thank you. Um, yeah. I can't do that again. I can't do that again. Accelerating. <coughs> if someone's like a little asshole and like it clearly hasn't made any improvements, okay, maybe then we do. But otherwise I don't think I don't, it's I don't think we can Google them otherwise. Jeb's been called to see Miss Smith. 
He's been in trouble in his technology lesson. Uh oh. So. Uh oh. According He's a little to the shit. I have. During your lesson, you sprayed links. Not quite the sure what you're referring to, but okay. Oh my god, you weren't there. Were you there? You were verbally abusive to staff. You weren't there. Oh, oh Sands! Oh no. You told her to piss off. But I didn't tell Miss Sands to piss off. I told Sir. Okay. She you might have just been... it was meant. You know the underdog kid Joshua from the last episode that was running for head boy. Yeah, he won. Head boy. So good, so brilliant, so amazing. And we were like, wow, that's so good to hear. Let's Google him and see where he's na he is now. He died in 2023. Yeah, he had a heart condition. He had a heart transplant in 2020. Successful, but he had, a, he had an issue in 2023 and he passed away. His family ran a, a fundraiser um, to help pay for the funeral costs. And it seems like the fundraiser did do well. I checked after. Very good to hear that, at least. Um, so yeah, don't, remind me not to Google anyone that we like. Um, if we don't like them, then sure, we can edit them. Not edit them, Google them. Uh, but otherwise, probably, probably for the best that we don't. Because uh -huh. um, I would just rather not know. <laughs> I would just rather not know. <laughs> Uh, it was really tough to segue I did. Yeah. from that. And then I was like, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell End, what I've done is wrong. I know it was. But obviously, the mood I was in at the time, I do get angry quite quick, yeah. One minute I could just be normal, and mm. someone could either well, say something. Well, this teacher, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell End, kind of iconic, thing, you can't know, lie. Just be angry. But shit, you know. And you. What are we gonna do about all of this? Well, Thank you for the, you for the follow, scanty. Then when you can do that. Lung. Lung. When I get time. G. Lung. As much. Now how am I meant to say your username? It's gonna come up on. How do I pronounce it? Thank you for the follow. And I'm giving you a lot of slack at the moment that probably wouldn't be giving to other people. Okay. Family breakups of whatever form are very, very, very common. And it is one of the hardest things for a school to deal with when you've got two parents who care desperately about their children but for whatever reason have got massive issues with each other. Yeah. And the school are in the middle that of it. That is really fucking tough. Jeb is one of I mean, it's three tough siblings for the kid. It is tough Brennan. for the school to work around Sean, that. Need a brush. It's I tough for everyone involved. So I just put my hair up. Uh, he has two sisters. Yeah, I don't know. Summer in year nine. Oh, okay, he has two sisters. Summer. And Shana in year seven. Who's so my mum tonight? Summer has recently moved out of the family home to live with dad. Okay, that right. fucking top, sorry, the top bun is so of its era. I like making sure they're right. Like, I like being motherly to them and making sure that they've got everything oh, they need. Mate. Huh? I do miss them. That is sweet. You scared? You best be. You best be. Oh, let's have a look. They are a tight knit family, and often when tight knit families fall apart, That's they do it spectacularly. Because it's not just about mum and dad. That it's is really sweet. All the siblings. Like Jeb, Summer has recently be been so in trouble tough. with her teachers. Is Miss gonna come down? It is so mad how. These things can make be you act out. Just don't say nothing. Just let me say what she's got to say. Yeah. Following it's an crazy how they affect teacher, you. She's been sent to see day Hazel, to day. a non-teaching member of staff who deals. I'm very with lucky that behavior. my father right, was man. never involved. <laughs> I'd honestly rather him have never been involved than have had gone through like a divorce or something, because it can be so so impactful. Things like divorce. I've never known any different, which I'd rather. I'm not going to have you back in my lesson 
until you win. I don't care, you just put me in a bad mood for no reason. I'm fed up with your stuff all the time, it's always me. It's always me. Listen, I, I, we're not going to talk about it now because I really have to go. So why are you still talking? To, to go and sort out. Then why are you still talking about it? If I'm upset about something, I'll take it out by shouting at someone, but when it comes to talking after, I'm not... I don't say how I really do feel, if you know what I mean. Just can't wait to get out of here. Everything's going wrong. Yeah, mm. yeah. School used to be like I could get away from everything that was going on if there was a problem at home. Yeah, you felt if you came just, here, it, was, it weren't too bad. Yeah. I just feel like I need a fresh start, to be honest. It feels like everyone's watching you, like everyone just knows how oh, you feel, mate. but obviously they don't. It just feels like someone's just opened me up and, like, just told everyone... That's so rough. ..about, um, me. Moving house, miss. I'm just going to go somewhere far and then move school from there. You know, nine times out of ten, schools are near enough the same, sweetie, didn't you? I think she puts on a front, Summer, and that's how she copes. This is so... This beginning. is sad. Like I wasn't expecting it to be a sad episode. A mum and dad I was expecting it to be, up. like, a funny one because this kid's, like, yeah. little romantic but also a little shit. Right, yeah. I wasn't mm, expecting it sure. to be fucking heartbreaking. Yeah. You know Damn where I it. Am. She likes to see you. As sympathetic as we are to pupils and as supportive as we are, when they're going through bad times in their life, we, they have got to respect the rules in the school and they've got to respect the people in the school. I don't think I miss school. It's rough, because I'm like, maybe I do, but I also, I'm really not sure. I feel like, I mostly don't. <laughs> I know a good few of you are still in school. Do you think you'll miss it? Those masks terrify me, that's valid. Do you think you'll miss school? Or like, are you, uh, so are you, when you're out of school, are you planning on finishing there or are you going to college or university? And, and do you think you're gonna miss high school? You feel like you would? That's fucking valid. There's the nice, I think you get, the thing is as well, you spent so many years in that environment and with that kind of schedule, and with it feeling that way and it all being like the same every day you get into that routine and then it changes you know like wait hold the fuck on what's going on uh, this is a big change i'm going to a different place a lot's happening it's quite overwhelming never i despise it that's so valid i think that's kind of where i leaned i think i only enjoyed school because i got to see my friends well, you're Tibble and he's Lord it wasn't for having friends if i didn't have friends i would have fucking hated school I would have hated it. I probably would never have gone. And Jeff, I'd get a degree, English, probably, because I don't know what like career Jeff, I want to do, so a degree can help shit. Yeah, totally. And that makes a lot of sense. How did he do? Miss Kissberg. Since his parents separated at Christmas, I don't have friends have and the place is supposed to be depressed. Man, There's a I, lot going on but as yeah. soon as you leave, really, whether you, you go know, to university or college, here's the big thing. I'm just going to pause it quickly to say the big thing with going to university or college is you are then sent into a group of people that you automatically have something in common with because you're all studying the same thing. So you automatically have a common ground that you can work from. And then you're going to find out that you have way more in common than you originally thought. So I promise, wait it out. If you continue into education, you're going to make friends. If you don't continue into education, you're going to make friends. Because again, you'll just have control over where you go. So you can decide to go to different groups or different like events or workshops. And again, you're just going to be able to go and meet people that have the same interests as you. And that's a, a great starting point, is having something that you have in common. Um, yeah, I feel like once I'm able to stuff the subjects, I uh, just to study the subjects I like, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I somehow managed to make friends. Hell yeah. <laughs> you say that like, you say that like you, you're not, capable of having friends everyone's capable of having friends 
Even some of the most awful people in the world have friends. They're just also awful people. Um, <laughs> As a teacher, I swear, I it's sometimes more consistent to you'll, try and you'll, leave that at the door and forget about it. It, it, it all we changes. Because, oh god, I keep pausing it. I'm such a yapper. My mum. So I, like I say, I've said this before. I nearly quit art because my teacher was a real dick. Um, and my mum was like, "Just wait it out. Just wait until you go to college. College will be totally different. They'll treat you like an adult there." Um, it feels more like you're on a similar, like, wavelength, um, and y you'll make more friends there. And I was like, no, no, you're lying, like, it's not ever gonna be like that, blah, 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 it is. <laughs> you go to college or university, <clears throat> the lecturers treat you with respect, usually, most. Um, you ha as long as you treat them with respect, they'll treat you with respect. Do the work, and there shouldn't be any issues. Um, and you make friends, and it's fucking so much better. I literally made a friend over me using Comic Sans in a PowerPoint. <laughs> it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, if you don't like school now, wait it out. I swear it's worth it. It's, I promise about you. Romeo from his dad. And maybe you find out that education just isn't for you, and that's okay. Sometimes the education and system is, is not for you. There's things like open university you can do from home. The rest of their life there are other, other that, options okay. if you want Still to learn. Rules, also, See workshops you can attend yeah, for different things. Don't you dare. There are options. <laughs> there are options. If there's workshops where I live, there's workshops where you live. Pushed it down, he pulled a chair. I don't know what happened. Pushed it down. Oh, Jeb, 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 Jeb. I only go to school to flex my test scores on my friend. Jeb, Jeb. Fair enough. Jeb. No. Jeb, allow me to speak. Not to me. You can speak, just talk to me. Is that all right, Josh? Yes. Josh, yeah? make sure you're not leaning back on your chair, first of all. Good boy. Jeb. Jeb, no. Jeb, you can listen to me or you're going to have to leave the room. Jeb, you're gonna listen to me or you're gonna have to leave the room. There's so many times I felt like giving up. Okay, Jeb. I totally you know, get I that. I had I had a few times in high school where I was like, I just can't do this anymore. I'm gonna fucking drop out. Um <clears throat> and it was usually because of my art teacher. Um, but I know, right? You'll you'll crack your head open. Every teacher says that. And to be fair, they're right. Like it is a dangerous thing to do. We've seen what happens when you uh, streamers lean back on their chairs. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Um, but no, there, there, like, there was plenty of times where I was like, oh, I'm just going to fucking drop out. If you can, just keep going through it. You're not going to regret it in the end. Yeah, you'll never regret just pushing through. Um, yeah. Jeb? I swear it's worth Jeb. it. Just realise, <laughs> realise that everyone in school... There's like maybe like one percent of the people that you meet in high school that you're gonna actually talk to after high school. When you realise that, and like also that none of them are gonna give a fuck of what you're doing, you're not gonna give a fuck what they're doing. Once you leave school, end of contact. <laughs> none of you are gonna speak again, <laughs> unless it's like your close mates that you're like, oh yeah, we'll actually speak. Once you realise that, I feel like it gets a little bit easier because you realise, oh, I've just got to sail through and then just fucking I leave and. It, I start again. Fresh start somewhere new. Like, it gets so much easier when you realise that. Because, again, you can just do whatever you fucking want. Just be... Uh, this is going to sound cheesy. Just be yourself. Literally just be yourself. No one gives a fuck. No one's going to care. None of the people you go to school with now are going to fucking care. Oh, if they're, if they're talking about you outside of school when you've left... That says way more about them than it does you. And also, fuck me, that's a sad existence, isn't it? Oh, you're talking about people you went to high school with. Still. Get a grip. Get a grip. <laughs> the only time me and my ma mates mention anyone from high school is when we find out one of them is gay now. And we're like, fucking, that's crazy, that. Didn't realise. Honestly, didn't expect them to be gay. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the only times we really speak about them. It's like, oh, they're gay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ally. <laughs> like big wins. Um but yeah. Yeah, it it's once you realize that that none of, none of these people give a fuck about you cuz they're all fucking stressed about themselves. Oh, it does it doesn't get easier.
as soon as I realised I had, uh, as soon as I realised that I had a really good time in school, I had a really good time in school. My last year was so fun. No, Mostly because I didn't give a shit about anything, okay. but it was great. It was great fun. I look at my last year with uh, fun yeah, memories, nice. other than COVID. So. There's nothing you can do as a teacher in that situation. <coughs> Poor Miss Kiff. Powerless. Poor Job. Poor Miss Kiff is powerless. It's a stubborn streak that, like, I've never seen before. Come on. Stubborn streak to you. Jeb, you've got to speak to me. You're stopping me from learning. No, I'm not stopping you from learning, you Jeb. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. You're not. As soon as you do something like that. I want to do the work. You're stopping me from learning. Right. Jeb. I can't explain what anger feels like. It just makes me feel really mad. I've got lessons to go to, and uh, you're stopping me from learning. No one else but you, so I can't talk to you. I do want to stop myself. When like, I'm angry, but I just I think, sometimes oh, it's just it is tough. Too much. It is tough. Jeb, this this only works. Jeb, please don't do that. Shouting at Jeb will just exacerbate the situation. All it will do is make him more and more yeah. angry. You know, you have to try and calm the situation as much as you can. Jeb, please don't do that. I'm not hurting no one. You are. Who am I hurting? Yourself. This is sad. This is sad. <laughs> I don't want sad. Oh, are we in the detention room. Is this a is this a detention room? That's mad. That's mad. What the fuck? Why didn't I do that? It's 11 a.m. That's, That's so fucking genius. Is. is that all right? It's better to sit than do interventions. Right. What the fuck? Jeb has been sent to see pastoral worker Hazel to cool off after his outburst. That yeah, kid's fucking smart. He's getting. Nice. We just he, have to get on with it. Cause he's succeeding goals, in the world. We're at work. He's probably an entrepreneur time. now doing workshops. I like to get through to all. He's of probably them. selling a course or I something. Like I know. Miss Giff is so hashtag goated though. Like eighty percent of teachers would have screamed me. at him. Yeah. I know it's hard. When I was at school. He I really was really trying too. to just get through. So to I know how. It's giving five minutes. It is. It's probably not that smart. I'm just probably a little bit dumb. I'm like I'm impressed. You really, really <coughs> have got to rein it in. I'm trying. I know, but I've been there, done that, wore the t shirt. Should we go and sit in here for a while? How we not be excluded? Gone. <laughs> to another school. <laughs> excluded? Yes. <sighs> but what I'm worried about is this, this anger thing, right? Is if it takes you out of here and takes you to a place where I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely meaningless. Being excluded, it's not the right route. But when you're a student, you don't think about what you're doing. Yeah. You just think, this is the way I'm going to go. I know stuff's going on, but I don't want it to be sort of like that it upsets your schooling. Because you're doing so well, Jeb. I know. I think because Hazel's not a teacher, like, she sees it more. She just, like, listens to you. Yeah, I suppose it, it's different for her because right, with done. her not being a teacher, she's not got to focus on the teaching like lessons and stuff. She can and just she talk just to them. She just tells me, like, what the right thing to do is. Trying to put them in there, Jeb, we've got to go on call. So I'm going to leave the library in a mess, we'll get into trouble. You got me radio, babe? Huh? You have, you little tight. <laughs> <laughs> I like teachers like that, like the shirts, the um, the caring people. I don't know what it's they're called. She wasn't like a therapist or a kind of like a counselor, kind of like a counselor. 
someone needs to have a conversation. But I think they have different names in the UK. Thing. Well, I think we call them councillors. She's going to explode. She's got a bar across her ear. I should do it. Would you like to? Bikini had it. about eight bits. She's of got industrial. This yeah, there's um, quite a lot of piercing going on over the holidays. Okay, right, thanks. Well, uh, how about you just fucking quit it? Like so, it ain't that deep. What's we going to do? It's not coming out. It ain't that deep. Exclude me, put me in intervention, do what you want. No, I don't want to do that. It's my decision, and it was my answer. Who, who did you go with, Mum or Dad? My dad. I don't live with my mum. I appreciate it's rubbish at the moment and there's lots of stuff going on. I appreciate Look, it. Look, I, I said it in the first episode, I'll say it again. It's none of your fucking business. It's none of your fucking business what I wear and what I have in my body. All right? You are my teacher. You are here to teach me. It doesn't fucking matter if I have a bit of metal through my ear, because guess what? It's not affecting my t my learning or your teaching. So fuck off. And I stand by that. I stand by that, and I stand by that till the day I fucking die. Because at the end of the day, that piece of metal through her ear is not going to fucking affect her ability to learn. It's not in her ear, is it? It's not stopping her from hearing, and it's not stopping you from teaching. Fucking move along. It ain't that deep. Ain't no one looking at a piece of metal and someone's like, exactly what I'm saying. Who's fucking... Oh, the kids are all, like, during break are being like, Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That suits you. Like, yeah, other than that, no one fucking cares. No one fucking cares. Move along. It doesn't affect me or you. Now you're wasting both your time and my time by speaking to me about this and trying to convince me to take it out. Unless you're going to reimburse me the money I spent on this piercing not fucking taking it out, all right? Piercings cost money. Unless you're going to pay me that back, I'm not taking it out. Get get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> not happening, all right? And I stand by that. I say that flat and clear now. The school's already gave me distress. Miss Smith stands in the corridor and goes, are you okay, Summer? Like Just, I've got something wrong with me. Like, the thing is, she's going through something right now. How she's chosen to cope with that is by getting an ear piercing. The least self-destructive option. She could be on drugs. She could be having, like, abusing alcohol. She could be abusing other substances. She could be smoking. She could be vaping. She could be whatever. She has chosen to get a piercing. I think I'd rather that. I think I'd rather that than any other option. So how about you just fucking leave her alone? Just leave her alone. I fucking, I stand by that. Like, she's going through a tough time and she's chosen to cope with that by getting an ear piercing. Shock horror. What will we do? I don't want to ask him that. Hey, grip. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. And I think I think that's the only reason I'd be willing to become a teacher is because I know for a goddamn fact I wouldn't mind them having piercings and shit. I wouldn't care. I would not care. I'm not snitching. I'm not snitching. I've so many times and they keep going on and on and on about it. I don't really need to talk to anyone. I'd probably teach them how to cover it better. <laughs> Wear your hair down. I'd, I'd be like, okay. I see you've got this piercing. Fucking love it, by the way. Love, it suits you so much. You're gonna have to hide it. So, this is how you hide it. Covering with makeup. Covering with plasters. Covering with, like, a bandage tape. Like, this is how we fucking teach you how to cover up the piercing, because otherwise you're gonna get in shit. No, but if you get a piercing, you'll get a zero on your math test. Yeah, because we all know piercings make you actively more stupid. That's why I'm fucking dumb. So I've got two piercings on each ear and a septum in the middle. That's why I'm stupid. Like, obviously. Duh. <laughs> I was so much smarter in school when I didn't have these piercings. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid. I'd be having a conversation so with stupid. you and giving you any of my attention if it wasn't for that piercing. I don't want this to be like this, but I, I can see it's going to go that way, isn't it? It's, it's already happened at this school. I don't know this school. I don't know anyone at school. So it doesn't make a difference. Metal, metal soaks sad. into your brain. A lot of support has been offered no! to someone who quite clearly like, is struggling off. with it's everything so that's going stupid. on. It's so stupid. It's not that deep. At some point, she it's will never been that find deep. That she'll find helpful and will work for her. But at the moment, she's not going to take it. <sighs> If, by any miraculous chance, you suddenly soften and change your mind, yes, that's not gonna happen. but do let me know, because it will save me a job bringing your dad. I have a feeling, I honestly have a feeling, sure you're going to call her dad. She's Her dad's not going to give a shit either. 
He took her to get the piercing. Do you think he... He probably paid for the piercing. Do you think he's going to let you tell her to take it out? He probably paid for that with his money. He's not going to want her to take it out either. Fuck off. <laughs> back to life. Back to reality. <laughs> I stand by what I'm saying. And I will until I die. So stupid. So be wise so stupid. and keep on reading the signs of my body. <laughs> It's 9 a.m. Right, you sit on that table there. Okay. And you sit on that one there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jeb has been sent to the intervention room. Already? As punishment for his behaviour yesterday. Oh, okay. Jeb, I was like, fucking hell. Start early today. Because I've got a trip after school. Liz, miss. Miss, I don't know what's going on. What? With Jeb. Jeb's supposed to be in here. Okay. But he... No, no, you, you are. Really? Yeah. Come. What's, what's this? What's this? Oh, I'm going out. Jeb, come here. Jeb, come here. Jeb. Oh, I'm going here, out. Please. We need to talk. Hi. We need to talk. Well, we need to talk this through. You still me? How are you? How are you, How are you hybrid? I hope you're well. Okay, listen, Patrick, because I've got a trip listen, today. Oh, listen. Before, so yes. Take a breath. No. This is not going to go anywhere apart from you digging yourself further and further into this the hole. This isn't going well. Okay. He's really. As I said to you yesterday, he I'm would be significantly better just always. following what she's yeah, saying. Yeah, but I'm a little bit busy this morning. You haven't. You put me in intervention. I think. Well, WTF? Yeah, WTF? I have to talk to you. Got my own wife by itself. Fuck yeah. A few Fuck other yeah. really urgent things at the moment. Jeb, come here. Jeb, come here. Jeb, come here. Jeb's not coming here. Jeb's Jeb is off. To get significantly worse in the school. Jeb is gone. He's deteriorated quite rapidly. He's going home. So it go from my being being asked to pick something up off the floor that he Oof. dropped to a full on W T F. Who does he think he is to ask me to Literally. do this? Literally. Have you seen Jeb anywhere? And it will escalate from A to Z without passing any other letters. Come on, Jeb. You're gonna have to. Okay, you think it's Jeb. If you can't, I'm gonna end up excluding you, and I don't want to do that. I went. Oh, well, I don't you understand it. You don't understand. I do. You don't. Why are you even a head teacher? You don't help no one. You know that's not true, Jeb. No, I don't. He's just saying hurtful things now. He is victimized. He's just and saying he hurtful things now. Step back and actually see what's happening in that situation. It's just the anger. I wouldn't normally let someone go out on a trip. It gets and I so trust their behaviour strength. in school, let alone outside school. You are out of our control, Jeb. You just issue. can't handle it. But we shouldn't have to handle it. You should, because you're a school. Okay, Jeb, just make sure you head up. Does a make a good point. Take a breath. Go it on. does make a good point. They should have to handle it because they, they are a school. Out they point. are. Their point is to teach. He makes a point. You I can't lie. He Jeb, makes a good point. Okay, I'm not going to have any choice, Jeb. I don't have any to choice. But to exclude you now. Exclude me. Okay. <sighs> exclude Sometimes when you are supportive, Fuck. those boundaries get pushed and they get pushed and they get pushed. But Jeb's behaviour cannot be he's, oh, challenged. Oh, no, because now the be anger's with, turning into upset, so he's probably going to cry now. He has more the ang tolerance it, it more goes, anyway than any other child in this school. It goes at anger... Here's a question. Are you... You don't have to answer this. Are you like a... Um, an emotional angry person? Or are you just like an angry person? When you get angry, do you cry? Or do you just fucking seethe? Like, do you just get angry? To be fair, if I had to deal with stuff in schools, I would have uh, been charged with assault already. Yeah, fair enough. Emotional? Yeah. Yeah, mood. I When I get really angry, I get very upset. I get very upset, I get teary, and that gets me more angry because I'm like, fuck, I feel weak, and the other person isn't taking me seriously, and I'm struggling to get my point across. And um, it sucks. It really sucks. And it's so unfortunate. Oh, no. Sorry, I, uh, my cat fell, and it's, it's died. Not my real cat. Not my real cat! I made a little paper cap. I made a paper cap. I've just seen where it fell. It's dead. 
Um, both probably. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I made a paper cat. Paper cat dead. Paper cat very dead. Paper cat fill into a glass of water. Paper cat dead. So. Paper kitty gone. Paper, ki paper kitty gone. But I'll make another. I'll make another. It's fine. I'll make no, another paper cat. I'll make another anger, paper cat. Then he can't be here. It's so sad to see. And I completely get why they're like, we need to suspend. Because it is distracting to other students. And it is wasting time. Well, it's not wasting time. But it, it's taking time of teachers who need to use that time for other things. Down the street, but... In a bit of bit of sunshine. With everyone she meets. Morning. She's gone. It's Wednesday. Not the paper cat, yeah. Jeb is back in paper school cat after serving a three-day exclusion. Cat, very dead. Defiant behavior. Okay, he's back in school. Bye. That's good. That's Love good. <coughs> One of the reasons for fixed-term exclusions is when pupils need a cooling-off period, and when they come back, they should be able to then think about what's going to be different in the future and be able to express how their actions will change as a okay. result. Let's see if that was hey, successful. Right. Okay, I really appreciate you apologising. Yeah? I really apologise. I really, really That's really good. Do. But we can't have any more of that, those meltdowns, yeah? yeah. Good, because I want to see you back in here. I want to see you smiling again, and I want that old Jeb back. Yeah. Old Jeb that right. was a little That's fucking me. troublemaker. I don't <coughs> look like I don't like her. But she was alright. She's alright? Yeah, she's alright. What's alright about her? <laughs> I don't know, she's just like... <coughs> You got a rip off because it's in Morrison's, mate. What type of play is it? It's a love and tragedy. Okay, so that. Tra tra Wait, what is it? Tragedy. It's a tragedy. Oh, tragedy. Tra oh, so tragedy. It's tragedy. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Miss Kim! Tragedy. That's what I said. His tragedy. favorite, this kid's favorite lesson is definitely English. <laughs> It's period five, and Jeb is my favourite teacher. This fan. He's smiling, which is good yes. to see. I said that. It's a yes. Miss Smith has come to check on him and see how he's doing. Hello, Miss. Hello, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, getting into this, aren't we, on double entendres and Shakespeare? Come on. Um, I'll keep your stuff, Jeb. Thanks. How's today been? Good. Why is she Do taking I? him out of lesson when he's clearly doing well? And it's his favourite lesson. Yeah. Hold on. Now this isn't. This annoys me. Every teacher seems like they can tell that he likes English the most, right? They can tell he likes English the most. You just want to check on him. Don't take him out of his favourite lesson. Wait until one of the lessons he doesn't like very much. All right. Just just wait until those lessons. Don't take him out of one of his favourites. Sure, he's going to be in a better mood when he's in one of his favourite classes. But let him fucking enjoy the lesson without being interrupted. Please. You know it's his favourite. Who was horrible enough to peanut you? Um, the prefect. The prefect did that to you. That's not an awful thing to do. Do you want me to sort them out? No. No. You haven't got long left of your school day and you've done really well so far. Yeah? Let's get you back in your English lesson. Don't get too used to this. You're not going to be getting this every day. There are ways we can help people going through these kind of difficulties if the obvious means of support are not helping. Okay. So next week, I'm running a slam poetry workshop, and your name's been put forward. By who? Name forward. By me. As one of the 15 kids that could do it. Some of the strategies are by stealth. Engaging Ooh. in sporting activities, okay. engaging in drama, engaging in music. Slam poetry competition, you know, that's exciting. Got different ways of dealing with stressful situations. <laughs> but if you're getting in trouble or anything, 
I'm going to really struggle to get you on there. And we will keep trying different things without it but explicitly okay. looking like right. we're trying to talk about your problems. I hated talking to teachers one-on-one, -on -one, by the way. Oh, I, I fucking hated it when they'd take you into the hall Stop. and you'd have to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. I'd be leaning against the fucking Stop. wall, bouncing, because I'd be like, I don't like this. Oh, I fucking hate Stop. this one-on-one. -on -one. I have oh, to give them my contact. This is, is maybe way? that's possible tism. Well. Look at you. Oh, it's difficult for you guys, isn't it? But not gonna think about it. Not gonna think about it. Can't afford to get diagnosed. To and and Same. Scared, scared the shammy for it. Yep, yep, yep. Real, real, real. I know. I know. And they've been together since I've been alive, so that's even worse. Yeah. For twenty years, they've been together. Twenty years. Twenty years. <gasps> Long time, isn't it? Yeah. It is so difficult, babe. Is that a tattoo? Who's that? My son, babe. Why have you got a tattoo of him? Because he's not with me anymore, Jib. Fuck off. No, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. I can't do this, man. I can't do this. I'll cry. I'll cry right now. I can't do this. I can't do this. This fucking episode has been pushing my buttons this entire time. And now they're telling me that the fucking teacher who's lovely. And you're telling me that. That her son's not with her anymore, and that son looked like he was a teenager. Fuck off. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Right, Jib. He was playing a game with all his mates. Thought he'd be silly. And jumped off of a balcony. Broke his neck. Mm, sorry. <sighs> Fuck mm. off. I can't do this. I'm never watching this show again, guys. We're not finishing this fucking series. I can't do it. Mm. I can't do it. No, we will. We will. I'll pray that we don't have any more of this. That's heartbreaking. That's yes. fucking heartbreaking. Don't jump off balconies. Don't be stupid, please. Please. When I say be silly, be goofy, that's not what I mean. Oh, let's scream at the annoying orange. We are not watching the annoying orange. I would rather, I would genuinely rather delete my fucking Twitch account. Can we watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? I like to think that they're like one of mine. No, again, I think I'd still rather, still rather delete my my Twitch account. Savage. I think I'd rather a lot of things than watch more kids shows. <laughs> I look at him and I think, don't follow that path, do this. I like my brain was watching, was rotting watching Mr. Mr. Maker. Don't do that, do this. But I couldn't. Oh, man. Thank you. Day, so so no, so thank you for being you. Right. Go on, don't take a statement. Oh. Well, Mr. Maker was, was, was amazing, was sure. Was sure. Was sure. Sure he was. No. Who feels comfortable writing? No it's more Tuesday. Mr. Maker. Summer has been chosen Absolutely to take part not. in a poetry workshop with Mr. Bisfam and a guest oh, okay. poet. Okay. I'm not talking about spelling or grammar or anything like that. Just getting your That's ideas down. That's a queer. <laughs> and I'll help you do it. Don't worry. That's a queer. <laughs> so That's a gay not, person. No Tell me it's not. Tell me that's not a gay person. I spot him from a mile away. I love writing things. <laughs> Frosted tips, cuffed up sleeves. Come on now, that's one of the queers. I know where where to find one of those. Any day. That's the girl from the other episode. Sometimes I should just go and write it down instead of um going to shout someone or say this and that because I don't always mean what I say when I'm angry. And she does poetry. Of course she's good. Just say something, yeah. Um, it's like, it's not about me, if you know what I mean, but it's saying, it's saying me in it. My hopes are high, higher than a skyscraper, but now they've dropped to my feet, each tear shed engraved in my cheek. The sore scars remain for days whilst crying for many different ways. Closed eyes, beating hearts, soon it's key to stop, but would just stop me? He said more. It's stopped the last cell in your body that shuts down before it takes you over. Who am I? Is this me? Ooh, that's fucking good, you know. That's actually quite good. When mom and dad got split up, I that's was genuinely so quite good. And then everyone knew, and it was sort of like, whoa. Fuck. What's your name? Summer. Summer. Got it. Uh, summer. 
like S U M M E R. Got it. Amazing. I sort of realised why am I getting upset over this? It doesn't matter if people know. Do you want to read it? Writing a poem like that for Summer was a huge deal because she's not somebody who would easily articulate her feelings in any way. It doesn't, when you read it to yourself, it doesn't sound as, as good. Yeah, because I have to say it in a bit, like each bit. You gotta say it in a certain Where way. She was before, I'm to That's one of my fucking least favorite things about trying to show someone poetry. I've written one good poem in my life. It's genuinely, I, I am proud of it. Um, <laughs> probably will never tell you it, but I am proud of it. And uh, I can't just show people it because you have to say it in a certain way because there's a rhythm to poetry and you have to say it in a certain rhythm, otherwise it doesn't sound right. And so it's so hard to show people poetry without you reading it them. <laughs> you have to read them. As it's awful. Was when she came out of that poetry workshop, you could see like a weight had lifted. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. It's really, even just reading it is quite moving. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, you should be really proud of that. Well done. Oh, good to see, good to see. Oh god, I know for a goddamn fact that would be so fun. I wanna do that. I wanna I wanna do that. I wanna do that right now. Dominic, perhaps you'd like to tell me what you're doing with that chair. Get off the chair and put it back in the school, please. I need my skateboard. Okay, but I'm not going to give you your skateboard back. It's that simple. Be very grateful if you could put the chair back. No. No. Why is he not getting his skateboard back? Don't be an accessory, Harriet. Wait, why is he not getting his skateboard? Why is she just... Has she stolen it? I understand it's confiscating, Friday. but like, he will get come it in, back, in, right? Event, like at the end of the day or something. She, she can't Joshua. steal his skateboard. Jeb. Jeb has been absent all week. Oh no. Is Jeb in today? Miss Smith is Jeb. working with his mum to try and get him is back into in? school. I know, but it's like I said, there's only so much you can do. You physically can't bring That's him into theft. school. Yeah, it's you know, we can't theft. go around and take him out of the house odd. and make him come it here is. if he's refusing to come into school. There's only so long we can we can allow the situation to continue. Uh oh. We will try absolutely uh -oh. everything to engage kids into school. That's not good. But there are times when the other stuff becomes more than they can bear. After a total of 10 days unauthorized absence. Right, come in and take a seat. Jeb has returned to school. Right, how are you? You sure? It's really nice to have you back, I'm really pleased. Okay, I know things have been really difficult for you. Okay, but you know I'm not allowed to let you okay, just Okay, he is home. back in. Well, I'm really pleased you're here. That's good. Okay. I want to see you keeping smiling. Enjoy In my school, if you school. get your phone taken away enough, they can take it till the end of the school. School year? Okay. Are you shitting me? That's absurd. That's actually absurd. That's actually theft. That's fucked up. Your school is wrong in the fucking head. This is TikTok dancing before TikTok. TikTok was a thing. It's 10 a.m. The second <laughs> TikTok dances today, before TikTok. And Miss Smith has been crazy to times. Deal with a student teacher dispute. It's Jeb having a meltdown in science. Jeb's misbehaved. Derek's asked him to leave the room and he's adamant he won't leave. Jeb has Fuck. refused to leave the classroom for two separate teachers. So Hazel and Miss Smith have been called to intervene. Oh, it's not he's going not good. Has no. Jenny gone in? Yeah, yeah Jenny's in there. Jeb, I need to talk to you outside. I'm not coming. I'm not having this conversation in front of you. talk about the school, I don't care. I need you to make the right decision, I need you to come out with Most me. of my friends are bracelets taken until the end of the term as well. That's fucking I'm not weird. Of being That's so or stupid. Or anything. 
Okay. No. This is just leave me alone. This is something leave me alone. This is something leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. He's just gonna get more irate. He's just gonna get more irate. They. Just... What the sigma is the Skylar Quest stream? We are watching. Um, thingy. We're watching Educating the Stand episode four. Hi, Cass. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Miss Kiff has been seen a good few times. I don't know if we'll see Miss Kiff again, but we have seen Miss Kiff quite a bit in this episode. Um, they should not have sent that teacher in. They shouldn't have sent the head in. They should have sent the um, counselling teacher that he was speaking to and having like jokes with. Because he would have much more likely come out of the class with her than he would have with the head teacher. Really stupid move if you ask me really stupid move now you can have the head headmistress waiting just around the corner to c come and speak to him however to get him out of the classroom so he's no longer disrupting the rest of the class you have to send in the teacher you think is going to actually help him come out um such a miscus summer i actually I actually, I actually hate that sentence. Step out. I actually hate you that sentence so incredibly much. I know I can't make you. I know I can't make you. Which is how I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. okay Jeff, that's why he I needs want you to. to oh because god, the they said the wrong teacher in though. They really did. So they said serious, the wrong. They sent the wrong teacher in. <laughs> really bad move. Is he coming? Right. No. They sent the wrong teacher in. I need to come to school and collect him. He's not in a state to be here. I'm really worried that he's going to. They kick sent the now. wrong teacher in. Skylark hater. That's Jeb not an emote. Until the end of the lesson. Yet. That's what well, I'm fucking saying. You're taking the piss. I could be a better teacher than half of these lot. Genuinely, I could be a better teacher than half of these lot. Why didn't they send her in from the fucking get-go? Why didn't they send her in from the get-go? She has a way better rapport with him. Way better rapport. Way better relationship with him. Why didn't they send her in from the fucking beginning? Are you insane? Like, are you taking the piss? I'm already in the Discord. Sick. Hell yeah. If you're not in the Discord, you should join the Discord. Because I think this weekend, if I'm free. Wait, this weekend. Yes, I am free. It's next weekend. This weekend, I think we're going to do a movie. I think we're going to watch a movie. I'm not sure what movie. I'm going to do a poll. I think we're going to watch a movie. Smith contacts his Still parents. Still want to be there. Jeb is sent to the intervention room with Hazel. Can it be the Lorax? We'll add that to the poll. The yeah. amount of time you well, spend let me write down. just on one student when there's all these students that need you. You can't. Oh, why did, I, on why did the one, one pen I pick up be forever. a white pen? You'd like to. But you can't. We're at the point where I have to prioritise the majority in the school over one individual. If I cannot. No, the lyrics, how bad can I be? Oh you know, my god. The SpongeBob movie. You can't stay in the school. Can we watch Give Nights with Miss Kiff? No. <laughs> they get polled. We do a poll. It's Monday. We do a poll Jeb and you vote on the poll. And whatever one wins is the one that we watch. Six days ago. That's the fair way of doing it. Everyone votes SpongeBob or else. I fucking hate the SpongeBob movie. Genuinely, I hate that movie. But I have had to make the decision. It's shit. Not going to be able to come back to the It's shit. I've said it. Miss I think I watched it too much as a kid, Jeb though. To I genuinely think I watched that film too much. And we'll be you hate me. Him and his That's not what the fan art wall is, wall is saying. Uh, <laughs> it's my hyperfixation. Ah. Ah. When you're the person who's making the ultimate decision, <laughs> yeah, I've I've watched it so many times. The of that decision. It just makes I mean I just don't like it because I've watched it too much. <clears throat> I'm the one that has to live with it.
I do want to come up. I'm subbing for real. I'm not even subbed. Come in and have a seat. <coughs> we completely understand how <clears throat> difficult things <throat> have been for the whole family. And we have gone out of our way oh, no. to oh, really, no, really support. It, yeah. um, it's been very, very difficult with Jeb to the point where he's been refusing yeah. to come into school. Um, when he has been in school, Oh, no. His behaviour is very difficult for us mm. to manage. So when he was Spongebob in last week, his behaviour oh, in his yeah. first lesson was really poor to the you point are in deep where part. he wouldn't leave the classroom. One of my many concerns is when Jed doesn't want to do something, oh, he will not do no, it. He will man. not change his mind for anybody to the point where he's been completely out of our care and control. I hate doing it. We failed. Failed, I can't. There's nothing else we as a school can do. He needs more intensive and more specialist support than we can offer. But where now, can I think offer that support? Him going to the, the people for early unit, being able to access all the therapeutic support and time is probably what's best for him now because it will help him get the kind of support that he requires. <coughs> <coughs> you constantly think you could have done something differently, could have handled it differently. But understanding the whole context of what so was happening rough. with Jeb, he needed some respite from mainstream school because he wasn't he wasn't coping. This episode's been a bit of a downer. <laughs> been a bit of a downer. Let's have a look at the top columns. It says descriptive writing, extended writing, and source work. So should I answer level five or six? Hey. Six, Summer. OK, because I think you can push yourself on this. It's the end of the spring term, and Summer has chosen which subjects will be taken big for GCSEs content. next year. I'm hopeful for Summer. <laughs> SpongeBob more like SpongeBob. Ooh, this certain, guy isn't misgiving. Much Fuck calmer. Off. <coughs> much more reasonable <coughs> and got he back to really lovely young I person assume. she can be. Well, like another so level or that, another class. In my opinion. Yes, like it that. is your opinion. Okay, all right, good. So I'm just checking. Okay. There's a point where I hated school. Freaky like, Bob, I can't do this, guys. <laughs> I just felt like all the teachers <laughs> I can't do this. on me. I was going to leave. Now thinking about it is just silly. Do you want to stay? Yeah. Have a good. nice Easter summer. Yeah, I will miss it. Have, nice have a nice time in, in Spain. Spain. Oh, I yeah. will do. No one's thinking of you, just yeah, remember yeah, that. Whatever. <laughs> Make sure you come back after the two week holidays. I oh, will, I promise. I love you loads. <laughs> Go, bye. Okay. Summer is now in year 10 studying for a GCSEs. Okay. She's recently had her tongue pissed. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, after three months in the pupil referral unit, Jeb has successfully moved on to an alternative provision college. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. <laughs> he still finds time to make occasional visits to Frederick Bremer. Okay. <coughs> I don't know how he's allowed to do that, but okay. I've missed you, you know that. I don't think he should have stayed at the school, to be honest with you. I think he needed to go and get help to yeah. make him realise that the it, world's it's not unfortunate, a bad place. but it is. It will get You know, better, sometimes it has to happen. And he will go a long way. Oh my God, freaky Bob in chat. I, I, we. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maker is freaky. I'm done. We're done. So good. done. Oh, so nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm alright. College is really good. I enjoy it a lot more than school. And now my behaviour's improved a lot. And I do sort of have a different outlook to life. And he's a skinhead! Ah, he's like bold! <laughs> Guys, this is what therapy does to you. It makes you bold. Don't go to therapy. It makes you bold. <laughs> <laughs> Bold child! Bold child! I, did. I think 
Scary. Scary. Like jump scare. It. Jump scare. But I won't change it for anything. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob. Oh my fucking god. I'm missing you from English. Yeah, I've, had no, sure. I've, I've had no one to play Lord Capula. <laughs> <laughs> Who's no. finished question one? Oh, next, next episode. Time. School. is like really big and scary. It's like a prison for kids. Three very different boys. What's happening, Louis? Struggling with school. Okay. Ben's going, you're going to have a panic attack. You're going to have a panic attack. I need to leave the class. Oh, this one might be a bit tough to watch. <laughs> and the battle to get them back into class. This five minute blip is taking over. Don't let it do that to you. I have every faith in you that you can do this. Okay. Good entire Next episode. Good entire Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Add? Hold on then. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Are we back? We're back. Amazing. Next Good episode. Good we're actually getting two episodes done today. If we're lucky, we might even get three. Add's not very Sigma. Not very Sigma at all. It's Thursday morning, and Year 7 Louis is in German class. Louis, wie sagt man das auf Englisch? Juli. July. July. Sehr gut. Mark. He got a late place at Frederick Bremer, so started nearly five weeks later than everyone Ooh, else in his rough. year. that's rough. Starting first late day, in school, really that's, up, that and fucking sucks. Weird uniform and a blazer and everything, and then having just to go to school, which is like really big and scary. Wird jetzt wiederholen? Januar? February, Like you don't know who you're gonna meet or like what lessons you have or where you go or who yeah. you talk to. And it's just really hard. I think I've started late to Louis, I think yes, he's there. every school I've been to. <laughs> Except for like my first school, I think I started late every school. I always started like halfway through the year because we always moved like halfway through the year. Pretty shit. <laughs> Pretty shit. He looks six, he does look really young. You need to see Miss Austin at some stage, okay? Today. Thank her. Since he started, Miss almost Louis a year missed of school. 14 days of school Fuck. and has been called to see that's, one of the school's home tough. support workers. What I wanted to speak to you about, Louis, your attendance is pretty poor, isn't it? Mm. My attendance Mrs. Austin's was really bad in was especially created to help students My attendance who face issues that make it difficult school. for them to attend school. And well. this is something I will say. If you can avoid missing time in school, I would highly recommend it. Because if it weren't for me missing time in school, I would be a year on like a year further on in my education than I am already. <coughs> I would probably already have my degree. Um, because my attendance was really bad. So when I went to my college um, interview, I was interviewing for the lowest level course because I knew I could get in that with the grades that I had. I did my portfolio in. I was speaking to them about my portfolio. I was talking to them, everything, showing them all my portfolio. And um, they were like, look, we'll be honest with you. We honestly think your work is worthy of the next level up but due to your um due to your attendance we are going to continue with the process of of looking at having you for the the lowest year um because we think that could be more your speed and that fucking sucked that sucked knowing that my work was good enough to do the year above but because of the um the, the attendance that I had had from fucking depression and chronic illness and, and just a load of other shit, anxiety and shit. Um, it fucking sucked. So if you can keep getting yourself into school, seriously worth doing. Seriously worth doing. Why did you have an alcohol ad? That is a little bit of a strange one. Um, more shit about my school. They did this rewards thing where you had to have over 90% attendance and my friend was off sick quite a bit so she can't go. She's the only one that's fucking shit. Depression sucks uh, sucks ass, yeah. That's part one of the reasons my attendance was so bad as a kid. Was my attendance. Um my attendance was so bad was just because of the depression and anxiety. And I had a lot of chronic health issues. 
and it meant I was off a lot. And I always call I always call any bug going around. I have a, a a compromised immune system, and I any bug going around, I catch it. So I was always off. But if you can avoid um, having time off at school, it's it's worth it. School loves to reward people who don't get sick. That's the fucking issue, right? That's the real issue here. The issue isn't I had time off. The issue is the school, like, reprimanded me for being unwell. Mentally or physically, for being unwell. They didn't offer me support. They didn't offer me help. They didn't push me to go and find out what was wrong with me. They just reprimanded me <laughs> because of something I couldn't really control. That's the real issue, but until that issue gets fixed, just really try and push yourself to be in school. Last week, you had Friday off. You know where I bent my leg last week, and then like the pain it just kept on hurting and hurting. He had a sore leg. He had a sore leg. And then I said I can't go out to school because it just really hurts. So you're telling me your leg was hurting. Hope you're having a Are good day. Are you coping day. well at school? Yeah. Are you absolutely sure there's nothing on your no, mind? No, All right then, Louie, you can go back to lesson. You're gonna have to use the door downstairs though, sweetheart. <laughs> I hated school. I could think of a thousand other places to be. I just did not want to be there. Stupid school! I was quite badly bullied. That's the kid from the other episode. That just me over the edge. I hate it. <laughs> That's the kid from the other episode. It's happened and it? it's an accident. <laughs> I think for all pupils, it's really important to have pastoral staff like Emma, yeah. who pastoral can give care. a completely different type of support to what a teacher can. That's the kid from, from the other episode. Theo. <laughs> they've got a different role. They've got a different relationship. <laughs> and they can That's fine. Do you want a tiny chocolate, Theo? <laughs> spend a lot more time listening and unpicking some of those issues about why they don't so like quick. school. So quick. So quick. Yes, I will turn them off. I will turn them off. I'll mute it. Yeah. I'll mute it. Okay, Miss, we get the butt off. <laughs> Don't abuse it. When there's a bit of would an issue please? about not wanting to be at school. Would you school, please? Would you please? Yeah. Me with the chocolate. Would you please? Really you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Emotional damage. You have literally five seconds. Do not enter my room with that on. I'm serious. Turn it off and get in. <laughs> Another pupil that Mrs. Austin is working with is 12-year-old aspiring rapper Devon. Fuck you! I dictate the stream. I control the stream. I'm in charge. Give you a refund? No. No. It's murder. Not giving you a refund. Murder. Cope. School. Cope. School's okay. Also, I don't know how to do that. Cope. It's like a prison. This is what you've done. This but, is what you've done. But at least you, you did this to yourself. I made this one up. I haven't made any improvements of it yet. That's so nice. You did it to shit. yourself. Let's do it. Go. When I heard that bang, bang, well, like a feel with fear, I heard someone shout Next and it stream. sounded near. Like he is, yeah. No, he is doing day. that. I don't like it, so I ask her why. I ask her why, and she don't tell me. On the other hand, she don't want to lie. That's you really what he was doing that. Is it's about to be child. trending. Make it he trend. Make it trend. He lives and his mom make it trend. And, and, it and I'll do something. Put, I don't know. He is a young carer. <laughs> you mentioned about your mum's health. And that obviously means that would be yeah. mad club for me. Like, that would look. That would do so I'm good for me. Pies, <laughs> Skydive. I can't skydive. I'm over the weight limit. I am definitely over the weight limit for skydiving. Um, also, I'd really rather not jump out of plane. Uh, <laughs> if only I had the power to do that. No, real. Real. It's kind of hard because I do dishes. It would be funny. Like, it would be funny. Did you guys... Hold on. Did you guys fucking see what Harry and Jack Manifold did last night? Were you there to see what they were doing last night on, Twi uh, on Twitter and Twitch? 
Did any of you see their tweets? No? They fucking tweeted out this random kid's Twitch account. And like, everyone go to their chat. Everyone go follow them. Everyone go follow them. And this kid, it was a weird, it was a weird choice. I don't know. It was all right, but it was like, I don't know. I don't know. He kind of seemed like a, one of those that would watch Andrew Tate. I'm not going to lie. He gave off Andrew Tate watcher vibes a little bit. But it was for a... No, it wasn't a Sackbook Live. Um, it was just this random random guy. Um, but yeah, they. it was for a video. They were recording a video, it seems. Um, but yeah, it was Jack. I think Tommy... Tommy didn't tweet it, but I think Tommy was in the recording. And Harry, they tweeted it. And I was like, fuck, I wish I had been live. <laughs> Can I be next? Exactly. I was like, shit. I would have loved to be live right then. They should have tweeted out Skylark Y. Guys, they should have tweeted out Skylark Y. They should have. <laughs> Rise up, Amelia Army. Truly, truly, truly. No, I was like, fuck. No, it was, it was funny, though. Chat were being really funny. Chat were mostly just saying hi to Jack and Harry. Also, the kid did not know who Jack and Harry were. Like, just did not know. Which is probably a good thing for the recording. Like, actually a very good thing for the recording. Kid, kid did not recognise them at all. I don't even think he noticed. Because he was like, how has this happened? He could, I don't think he realised that was, there was partners in his chat. They were speaking. But I don't think he saw that they had the partner badge. Because he was completely clueless as to how this happened. And common sense to me would say, if there's part, two partners in my stream, they sent their audiences. <laughs> you know that's why this is happening is because they've sent to their audiences and i was like huh crazy that your thought process didn't do that but it was so funny he gained i think he gained something like honestly he gained li like nearly a hundred followers because he he was his title was like 10 followers question mark so he was aiming to get 10 followers that stream he gained like nearly a hundred that stream. Fucking wild. It's crazy what they can do. When I scale up while getting partnered. Fuck if I know. <laughs> the so the partner requirements, the thing that's the real hard one to get is the 75 average viewers. Um and also the thing is with the 75 average viewers, they can still reject your like your um application if they don't see any worth in partnering you they can still reject it because it's got to be worthy for them to partner you as well it's got to be a good like if you aren't bringing a consistent <laughs> that's the thing is like if if you're not bringing in that consistent thing and it can't just be work from one raid raids don't count it, if you're not bringing that consistent viewership in and you're that consistent like everything they can just reject you. Quabby is a gay perv, hi! Why would you? Why would they reject you? You're quite literally goaded. Thank you, thank you. That's what I'm saying, but... What does partner do? So you, um... That's a great question. <laughs> what does partner do? If you go to things like TwitchCon, you get to go to the partner lounge. That's a whole thing. That's a fucking brilliant thing, by the way. I would love to go to the partner lounge. I would love to see what that looks like. It does make you look goated. It does make you look goated. I think you make a little bit more money. I think it gives you a slightly... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes the pay more favours for you. Exactly. I think you get a slightly higher pay split. So right now, I think so, yeah. I think it's 60-40. Right now, I get 50-50 for most things. And then I think once you hit partner, you get 60-40. Which might I say, and I, a lot of streamers will agree with this, that is not the industry standard. The industry standard is far closer to like 70, 30, 25, 75. And then like you can work up to a 90, 10. 60, 40 is not the standard. It is not the industry standard. I think you could, uh, you get more, more the viewers you get as partnered but you but i could be wrong so where if you want to get the higher split it's all about sub points so if you want 
if so here's an example lexi i know lexi's trying to get the further split if you want to support lexi um lexi marie um if you want to support lexi to get more like so she can make more money off of streaming the best thing to do instead of gifting subs because gifting subs doesn't actually help with your sub points because your subs number and your subs points are different things if you want to help her exactly tier three subbing helps way more tier two tier three subbing helps way more than um gifting subs and it's probably going to cost you the same amount so if you're gonna if you want to support streamers like that and like generally i think you can do that for affiliates like i can get um things to sub, sub points but um but sorry um but generally it's for like partners and stuff that that helps more um yeah you want to you don't want to give subs you want to subscribe at a higher tier that's how you'll help them the most it's fucking confusing but that's basically what partner does is it helps you have that slightly higher split um when you go to things like twitchcon you get to go to things like the partner lounge get access to that kind of thing which is fucking neat and i would love to do that one day um also it looks cool <laughs> it looks nice um also you're more likely to get like the nice things from other places so if you're a, a twitch partner you're more likely to get sponsorships because twitch partners have higher viewer accounts usually S like, uh, sponsorships like that you know there's all those parts where it's like the outside things as well just by saying that you're a partner looks nicer to other people other people that might give you money <laughs> other people that might give you opportunities <laughs> So that's, 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 that's. You are really brave. <laughs> there you go. Pandas. No, but you are, because I know that... It's all very confusing, well, and it's just like, it is tough to get, get there, and I don't... That. She I don't see myself reaching it. to being hospitalised for it. For a, which I would, is really um, upsetting My estimation, and when if that... I'm gonna reach it, I'd estimate between three and five years. And that might sound insane to you, but that's actually really realistic. For some people, it can take them a couple years to reach affiliate. Um, I just got very lucky that my friends were like, yeah, I'll watch your stream. Um, but yeah, I'm estimating like three to five years if I were to ever uh, like reach partner. And that's a big if, because I've got friends who have been streaming for five years. They're doing well, but they are still just affiliates. And like it, it's kind of out of your control. So. <laughs> happens when there's no consistency in Devonte's life. That is when he plays up. People like MP, I think, have been streaming for like um, seven, eight years. Devonte has been in the you know, school's fresh start provision for nearly two full terms. He only got partnered thanks to the Welcome UK Twitch home. team, the Aussie Twitch team. It's a class for students like who are unable to cope in so mainstream lessons. There's a lot to okay, it. So there's a lot to it. Devonte, um, obviously Devante. in the fresh start provision still. He's nearly been there two terms now. And we do say that after two terms, if they're not able to mm. go back into mainstream, we need to question whether mainstream is the right place. So his behaviour. Devonte joined Frederick Bremer with a history of bad behaviour. Where's Dan Clancy's house? And was placed in fresh Fuck start. Fucking Vano, probably LA. Probably LA. First week at school. No reason. He's either, I'm thinking he's either LA him, or Texas. The way he's I don't expressing know. Expressing what he does, he doesn't no actually reason. know. No reason. No reason. <laughs> and he was saying to me how he Dan put Clancy, a kid in the bin and rolled um, him down the hill. I, uh, I'm, I need to speak that, the Twitch UK office. That's what I need. I need to riz them up. That happens to me all the time. I need to riz up Twitch UK. When you got four, I can't riz up Dan Clancy. He has a wife and kids. I would expect a kid of and 12, 13 to have an understanding that, that was wrong. Yes. I'm gonna go now. Enjoy the misgift content. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Whoa! Fuck it out. He always go. Oh, this is. Okay. Well, this is getting intense. <laughs> it's not like you did form. 
I really hope it's porn take me seriously. I want that day. porn sponsorship. Year 11 child I really do. I want that porn French sponsorship. That started 10 I will talk ago. about porn every stream. I can have porn plastered on my stream. I don't mind. I'll do it. Oh, God. My dream sponsor is Lucy and Yak. The clothing company. In the company. academic centre would be Janet. Based in Brighton. They are my favourite clothing brand. <laughs> I have so many of Lucy and Yak's stuff. I love them. They are my dream. My dream sponsor. Company my dream is harder like, than I do. Partnership. I can sponsor you, that would be brilliant. Yeah, I'd love that. I just realised, if I stuck with two of the answers that I crossed out that were right, I would've got an A. Who is more successful with girls? Well, you'd have to say, based on history, it was Joel. Ah. <laughs> Okay. But, yeah. It depends, it's what, it depends what you define as successful, Indeed. really. And how is that relevant to of my <laughs> men? It's sort of the way that all of the okay. right workers wanted their own personal freedom to be away We're from moving on to another working for other people, that sort of thing. Good, Jordan? I need the energy. Charlie's I need the energy the so bad. I'm so tired today. And his GCSE exams are just eight weeks away. I think most people like to get good grades. Personally, it would just be really good to open the hair up and see suits him more than the hair down. Like There's going to be four Saturday sessions in the lead up to down. your exams. Vimto. Also, whilst other people are just getting on with their work, even though it might look like I'm just sitting there doing the same as everyone else. And this is indicative constant. My brain's going, you're going to have a panic attack, you're going to have a panic attack, you're going to have a panic attack. Oh, then my vision starts going. Dizzy, like this is, headed, this is like rough. This is going to be a tough one to watch. This is going to be a tough one to watch. I feel like I might pass out. <laughs> Suddenly everything gets really hectic and Shit. what you can focus on <laughs> is the fact that you want to get out of This one's room. going to hurt. Wow. Sarah. Thank you for Depressing. They really are. They're all depressing. Why are they all Charlie depressing? Has been diagnosed. We need to see how his story goes, but if it's like really positive, I might Google him, but I might not tell you about why it's fine. With an anxiety disorder Just after having his first panic attack sakes. in an exam last year. What are you watching sad stuff on the Scarlet Wife channel? Because I am... At the time, um, I didn't quite realise how long I'm not that sad, so I don't actually know. Help. This was meant to be like just a fun series to watch, but it's ended up quite depressing. I do still like the series, five minute blip is but it's ended up quite him. depressing. Don't let it do that to you. We need to balance it out with Mr. Maker. We are not watching yeah. Mr. Maker. We're not watching it Mr. Maker. The exams are coming closer and closer. Miskip is the funniest part. You know, we can't afford for him no, to freak no, out and not Mr. Mr. Maker. do his GCSEs. You can oh. beat it. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely not. <laughs> we will do whatever we can to help you, OK? No. To start with that, please, in Oberon's please. speech, Shakespeare no, describes the same. No, Mr. Maker. I felt my brain answer. rotting last Yesterday, time I watched Mr. Maker. Yesterday, seven, Louis didn't turn up for I school. I only going to get worse. I don't want Hi, brain rot. Mrs. Austin, you OK? Mrs. Austin has phoned his mum to find out why. He doesn't give you any reason why he doesn't want but to be But the shape song. So we need to get it addressed. Okay, um, at the end so of the stream, we'll watch the shape song. Mum has gone out to right? the right? shop, so when she come back home... End of the stream, she gone to we'll watch the, and then she the went shape song. We won't watch the whole Mr. Maker, Maker but we'll put on the shape song after this episode. Uniformed. Okay? What's happening, Louie? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. The thing that I worry about is can, either you you're struggling, which is why you don't come yeah. to school, no, it's none of those. Oh man, I won't be there for that. It's just Imagine like that it's reasons. there. Imagine that it dumb happened. Reasons. Yeah. Imagine that it happened. It's weird <laughs> and scary because I have to talk to this person about my problems because you don't trust them. Yeah, until you know them. Let's get it sorted. I'm here to work with you and support you. I'm not here to annoy I'll you. I'll dream it. Yeah, dream about it. Okay. Dream not about horrible, it. Right? And then next you stream, anything, you come and see me. next stream, yeah? we'll, we'll, if you right, if you really I'll want us to, we can watch the uh, the shape song at the beginning. There's of got the to stream. be something wrong. He's not just so on Friday. We can watch the shape song at the, the beginning computer. of the stream. He, there is really something wrong.
Okay. I don't like oh, her. I have a question to ask you. Come here. I don't like Cough her. up, spill the beans. I can't say it, Miss. It'll be really bad. Take that and write the name of the person on there, and then you can go to Mr. Leach's lesson quickly. Do it. Do it. Do what? Such a grass, mate. <laughs> Such a grass. The first line tells you what happened. The letter. What? Who is he Devante grassing on? Is still being taught in the school's fresh start provision. Mrs. Austin has come to see Deputy Head Miss Hillman to talk about getting him back into mainstream classes. Come in. Okay. Should I want your keys from your door? Yeah. Do you never get worried that someone's just going to lock you in? And I'm quite hoping they will. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put my feet up for a bit. Um, what can I do for you, ma'am? Oh, I won't keep too much of your time. But what the first one was Devonte. Mm. You're going to think I'm absolutely crazy. You want to adopt him? <laughs> yes. No. You are going to think I'm absolutely crazy. But how do you feel about him going back into core subjects, mainstream? He spent so much time in Fresh Start. I, I just think we're holding him back. I know he's not an angel. But it might actually be really great just to get him out there. That's fine, which ties in with the fact that he should only be there for two terms, really. But you're setting yourself a real challenge now. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. I think it's a real risk bringing Devonte back into mainstream. It'll all depend on, really, how much Devonte is well. able to control himself and manage his emotions. You've got a pen, you've got a ruler, well. pencil. <clears throat> it's quite a big thing that I do make it in mainstream, because if I don't, I won't go back to Fresh start, I'll go I'll just get expelled, and I don't want that to happen. Devonte is going back into mainstream classes for the first time in nearly two terms. Devonte, make sure you get a table for me, sit next to me. Just sit quietly, yeah? To help, Mrs. Austin will sit with him. Hyperbole is exaggerating something. Okay. Would you get it down in your book, please? It's your sentence. No. Okay. Can you put your hand up on us for Ah, you need a new book. Here you go, mate. To keep Devonte engaged, you've got to be um, interested. You've got to be positive. Oh, this um, is going to be a tough pick one. Up on I'm a not. Things, you know? and I'm not sure away, if it's going to work though. out. Devonte's name is the first name on the board on the I'm happy not sure side. If it's gonna walk the out, reason that Devonte's name is on the board is because I gave him a book and he said thank you very much, sir. He was really polite, and the first thing about getting people to follow your advice, a lot of the time, is being polite. When you write, it's free. Like, you can write about anything you want. You can make it your own. That's why I like English. I like the fact that this is a capital okay. that you're coming in with. OK, don't forget that you probably have that for Arsenal as well. Oh, yeah. That's all. I do this every day. Devontae was a little star. And Mr. That's Skinner good. put his name on the board under a smiley face. That's so, very good. And straight away, that is what Devontae likes. Will it continue likes, to be good? And Devontae is a fan of Hopefully. Mr. Skinner now. Excellent. Which is what I like. How am I going to ever lose a pound if I keep eating? <laughs> I um, hope it works somebody's out. Somebody's been sick in ME2, Ooh. I believe. Could Great. somebody have the joyous job of coming to clear it up, please? Oh, lovely. Hi, did anybody hear that? See, they're ignoring me because they don't want to clean the sick up. It's period four, and Charlie is on his way to his maths lesson. Okay. Hi. Oh, fuck, this hits a whole other level, because I had this. So far this week, he's missed most of his lessons. 
Okay, Charlie needs a good wind behind him. That was me now. Had I mean, this. he's coming I had into this. every day. It fucking, this sucks. I remember so clearly walking into like English late because I was I was too anxious and I was in the bathroom feeling like I was going to have a panic attack and I'd walk into my English class late and it's so much worse walking into a class late than it is walking into a class on time because when you walk into a class late everyone's looking at you everyone's looking at you and you feel everyone's fucking eyes like just burning into your fucking body awful just terrible i'd have it with art as well a really bad with art as well um where i'd be hanging just outside the door and i'd be there doing the breathing <laughs> freaking out being like do i just go and hide in the bathroom again do i just go turn around and go hide in the bathroom i hid in the bathroom multiple times during english lessons multiple times during english lessons and a couple art lessons i would hide in the bathrooms so i was just like, i'm not doing it i can't do it i can't do it today fucking sucks just sucks so much <laughs> um yeah i didn't skive too many lessons but there was a good few where i hid in the bathrooms I hide in the bathroom every lunch. I hide in the bathroom every lunch and break. Man, you like it, I totally get it. I completely understand. It fucking sucks. Try and scope out a place in your school though, or like in the school grounds that's like reasonably quiet, and you can go and just chill there instead of in the bathroom. Because obviously, you don't want to be hiding in the bathroom. You don't want to be hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> Try and find somewhere in your school that's reasonably quiet. Or if like you, you have a teacher that you do like or is nice to you, maybe be like, hey, can I hang out in your classes during lunch and break? If like they like you and if they if they like you and they trust you and you're not like known for being misbehaved, they they'll they'll probably let you. Um whenever I'm scared of doing something because everyone will look at me. I have to remind myself that they won't remember it ever. That's so true. Yeah, in that moment, it's really hard to remind yourself of that. But the fact is, I remember these things. No one in my school fucking remembers this shit. No one remembers this shit. And I don't remember when any of my classmates came in late. I don't remember any of them coming in late. I'm sure they did. I don't remember at all. So... <laughs> You make a very good point. It's just so hard lessons, to remind yourself of that in the moment. He had a bad week last week. Today. Yeah. And I'm wondering whether it's... Um, it's tough. Because of exam stress, that it's sort of exacerbated. Mm. But the minute he's, he's really vulnerable, he, he's, he's not in a good state. Charlie is an incredibly bright and articulate young man. And he's going through real difficulties. We obviously need to handle it with sensitivity and care and support and love. But at the same time, we've got a lot of work that needs to get covered. Charlie has been called to see home support worker Mrs okay. Yilderen, who, alongside Mrs Austin, is working hard to get him back into lessons. I have such a busy day. I'll see you soon. Sorry, Charlie. Bye. He needs a push because I think the longer he stays out of lesson, the worse it's going to get. And I'm good cop and Lilitha's bad cop. I'm not sure about getting to talk to Charlie. Oh, I've been really busy today as well, so let's like see. Uh, we'll sing our song then, boys. Yeah. Go on, come on, Charlie. Come on. Yes, I do believe in tough love, <laughs> time to time. Um, I don't believe in all this, you know, soft love fraud. It's the hardest one to go into. Shush, Charlie. Shush, Charlie. Charlie. No. It's, it is. There's someone else. I make sure he comes out of his comfort zone. He needs to know that he is the person in charge and he is the only it's person who's going to. She makes to a very good point. At change. the end of the day, none of I us can make difficult, him go to the I really classes. don't feel as if this Gotta is be him. a good idea. <coughs> I just think you really need to be in that class more time. I can just do. I'm going to learn more if I'm in another room with you. Okay, shall we go in a class for 10 minutes and then get to work? I'm more than confident that I get 
results that I'm happy with. I, I don't care what they're happy with. If they're expecting me to get A stars, then they're being unrealistic. And they're putting extra pressure on me, which I, do I obviously you don't need. Pressure. Come on, Charlie. You he makes a good point. Things. He's happy with an A. And if he can get A's, then that's what matters. A stars are brilliant, but they're not, you know, they're not the most important thing in the world. Do your parents have expectations on you? Well, I don't think they put any more pressure on me than any other parent would. They were pretty good achievers. I mean, they've they've done pretty well in life. And my brother, going to Oxford, I mean, <sighs> it's, it's sort that's of like... Tough, that's tough to I had the potential because he did, so we got the sort of same genes and everything. But I think most of the pressure from home came from me wanting to be my brother more than anything else, which was obviously difficult given he ended up going to Oxford. That's so, that's rough. Is it? <coughs> I think Charlie that is rough. taught me quite a lot. I used to tell my son, you know, you need to get A star, you need to get this, you know. But actually, you know what? I want you to be happy. Hi, Charlie. Hello. Hello, how is it? Uh, once I got in there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, so you worried for nothing, babe? Yeah, when I went in there, I actually did some work, which I think is going to really, really help me in my exams. And I'm really, really happy with it. Because that's. Good. Sure, good things happen if I go into lessons that I'm a bit worried about. Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with that because I, I didn't think I was going to stay. Yeah, that's good. He's got a Hunger Games pin on, I think. Yeah, but you can. I think he's wearing a Hunger Games pin. I think he's wearing the mocking jay. <laughs> Sometimes we don't realise how much pressure we put on our children. And we always ask for I think more. that is something, like, it's really hard when you've but got that pressure have from your family. Careful. Family, like, parents, siblings that you're comparing yourself to. Any of that, it's really tough. You end up putting yourself on, like, so much more pressure it's on yourself week at that Frederick isn't Bremer. necessary. You should just focus on trying Louis's to do the very best hasn't you can, improved. not trying to do and he's been called to see the Mrs. very Austin. best. Stop. She's still trying to get to the bottom of why he's avoiding school. I know, although you you keep denying it and you keep telling me there's nothing wrong. I like this I'm woman. I like this woman. I think she would. I, I think she has made a very positive impact already. You do like know, it. Louis, that when we have our little meetings, it's not me telling you off. I know. Get the minute your attendance goes up, I will let go. But it is my job to make sure you're happy and yeah. that you're here. I'm off to eat now, night night. Night night. Have you ever good to sleep? It's Thank just because I don't think I'm fitting in well. I just don't want to come to this school. See, there we go. We're getting somewhere. It's just, oh, I just want to be with my other friends from the primary. To come out of primary and telling come me the truth? Yeah. You do? Okay, good. I'm pleased. It's just the whole friendship thing at the moment that's really kind of getting you down yeah. a bit. Yeah? Do you think maybe that you have your sh you struggle sometimes to make new friends? Yeah. How was it leaving your friends in primary school? That was hard. That was probably the hardest thing. Yes, because you leave your friends, but they say stay in contact. But yeah. if you can't stay in contact with them, then it's kind of like it's kind of like sad. It's tough. It's we really tough. On it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not gonna go around skipping around the playground with you trying to find friends. That's not what I'm here for. Yeah, just social media is a bit more easy, but out there enjoying it's yourself. still difficult mm -hmm. because so I don't have to you've sit here and have got chat separate you. lives at a certain point. Like once you move, you've got separate I lives. Have my on You're doing and separate have my off things. Days, like good You're not day. getting updated every if five minutes when you're chatting day, during the class or every break. If it's a bad day, I'll just get my head down and work. It does get tougher. I can relate to Louis, actually. You know, why would you want to spend six hours somewhere if you're on your own, if you feel isolated? When I was at school, I didn't like groups, I didn't like the cliques. And I think, because I come through it, I can then say to Louis, it's going to be OK, but that will come with time. Yeah. Oh. Right, guys, I need you to turn around in your booth, settling down with a nice, quiet, finished, busy week. Right. Let's do it like I'm in the office. Right. Okay. 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 Okay
ですね It's a little troublemaker. Nico? Yes, sir? Are you alright with that math test? Oh, uh, yeah. Good luck. When the country's at war, they can fire oh, themselves through a window. Whoa. In those days, they'd have the Zeppelin. Charlie, did you want to say something? Um, everyone on the uh, home front would have been living in constant fear once the Zeppelin attack started. So it's sort of an entire nation constantly terrified that something bad could happen any second. Exactly. I mean, previously... the board... It's six weeks until Charlie's exams begin, and he's started to attend more and more of his mainstream lessons. Charlie, give us an example. Feels a factory. Very good. It's pretty relevant. What's I going on in guess the world I just want to be honest. back experiencing school as everyone else does. But I'm not thinking, oh, I'm really worried about my maths test. I'm thinking I'm worried about the physical act of sitting an exam. That's it's something. Cool I... Full of people. So, in my second to last year of high school, I sat one exam. Singular. Um, simply because I could not do any others. And I'll be honest, I remember nothing of that exam. Um, because it, it's totally blocked from my memory. Um, because I fucking hated it. And I was so anxious the entire time. And I didn't do very well on the exam. Um, and then my last year, which I didn't get two exams anyway because of COVID, but I would have had only one exam. And I'm so glad I didn't have to do it. Ooh, so glad. I'm terrified. <laughs> I, in my he's fourth that he's year gonna have some of high school, attack before. in my fourth year of high school, I had extra time for my exams. And you... Thank you for the thank you so much for the follow devoted M Devoted M is that how you is that the right one? Is that how we say it? Hello, welcome. Hi. Thank you for the follow. Um yeah, I I didn't do very well and and like I say in my fourth year of high school I got um I got extra time because I have a chronic illness. Um, and it makes it so that my brain doesn't totally work the fastest. I have a thing called, like, we get um, brain fog, which basically means I get these moments where I can't remember what the fuck I was going to say. And I just can't remember what the hell I was talking about. Um, so I got extra time during those exams, which helped a ton, and I did okay on those exams. I didn't get that in my last two years because they didn't offer it me. They didn't offer it me, I didn't get it. And that made it really, really tough. Made a really he goes good in job. and that he won't be able to do the test and that that will be gone for him that she says he will just be gone it is it is rough he's a piano player he likes music to give up Music is a pretty major part of my life. Whether it's writing songs, playing someone else's songs, it's it's just really, really relaxing and enjoyable. So it's a nice oh, little cool. escape, I guess. That's cool. I'm up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. In an attempt to boost Charlie's confidence Aww. before his exams, Mrs. Austin has asked him and his band to perform at the annual concert. It would be great for Charlie to do the concert. It would just be so good for his confidence. He'll be able to see, oh look, I can do this. If I've been, if I can tackle that, then I can get through the next few weeks of exams. That's cool. My head is spinning around, and my feet just won't stay on the ground. Still, yeah. Oh, improv dance, he's doing some expression. I can't think dancing. of many things that would be worse. A crowded room with lots of people, it's going to be hot, it's going to be stuffy, and everyone's going to be looking at me. So yeah, if anything was to happen, really everyone good. would notice. If it goes really well. I just think really that we're going to be under rehearsed. Massively. Charlie, we're doing it. Come on, we've done bigger things than this. Yeah, but not while. 
Not Fulham. Not, not very well. <laughs> not like, Fulham? Literally, no. if I walked out in, on the stage and I looked and there, saw there were 200, however many people in there, I'd just go. I'd give you the reassuring glance mm. that I do every time. That'd be tough. Charlie, if we do it, it will be our final performance. I then think I he's got a good out. group of mates, though, with him. <laughs> it will just be brilliant for him. He has a good group if of mates surrounding him. If he goes out there, it will, I think it will make him realise that he can kind of conquer a lot more than what he believes he can. His mates are really backing him, which is a good thing. They're supporting him. That's not bad. He's meant to be for year, eight, year, year ten. Year seven! Oh, when's that? Year seven! I don't want to raise my voice and I don't want to get nasty, but if you force me to, I will enforce the rules of the school. These I mean, are the you realities the rules of, of the school. adult life, people. You better get used but... to it because you're 12. Huh? What? So, these are the rules of adult life. So, you better get used to it because you're 12. <laughs> What? They're, they've only just... They're not even technically teens yet. What do you mean? What do you mean you've got to get used to adult life at the age of 12? Are you taking the piss? Sorry, miss. Don't mean to shout. Sorry, shouting. miss. Don't mean to shout. Right, have you got a book to read? Yeah, well... <laughs> Devonte has been this attending guy needs mainstream fucking classes help. for the last two weeks. He's an odd one, he is. Mrs. Austin has been by his side throughout. Tarul, Tarul. Could you please be quiet, please? He's like a little puppy. He's literally looking for attention oh. all the time. Devonte, put the pen on the table now, please. She's there every lesson, and if she was if she was there, some lessons and not some lessons. It would be better because I'd get more breathing space. Oh, but yeah, put your breathing yeah. space. Stop it, stop it. Stop. Kind of makes uh, me feel like I have like I don't know, like difficulties, kind of. But you do. I don't. I'm like exactly you have the same as everyone else. Attention span difficulties. You probably have ADHD, kid. You honestly, you I'm need. I'm getting on his nerves. I'm getting on my own nerves. Help. And he's like, oh, all right. I don't even want you here. So I'm going to have to stand back and let him do it. And it's kind of sink or swim, isn't it? I need you to prove to people that you can do this. And I know that you can do this. OK. Bye, have a good day. Devonte is going to his maths class. It will be his first lesson on his own. Okay. You better be good. Don't want to be all by myself. Akeem. Oh, Devante? Yeah. Yes. What do I normally say every time I call his name? I don't even boy. know who this person is. Now I know who you are. This knows who I am. Fantastic. Have you got a book? Have yeah. you got a book? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Silence. Obrigado. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Still not silence. <laughs> what do you see is what you get. Tavante, we're having a lot of problems. <laughs> uh -oh. So today we're going to look at algebra bricks. Algebra. Oh, bricks. Oh. 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 Okay. So, algebra bricks. He's pissing me off. Put your hands up. He's pissing me off. If, you've done if I had gone to school with him, he would have bugged me so much. I, I, I know who in my year. Uh, I know exactly who in my Come classes was just like. Put him. that away or I'm having it. There will not be. I know who's just like him. On also, that. his blazer. You know that is a banned item. Broken. Okay, yep. Shut up, you wear bras. Oh, your teeth. Devante. <laughs> I am not going to give you any oh, more no. warnings oh, now. Oh, no. One lesson. Okay, it's ta so. taken one lesson. We'll not even the full lesson from someone for him to get in trouble. For a relative, they will come to school and any attention is good attention. Don't do this. We have bricks here, okay? 
fine. Don't tell me this. He has bad days. Don't tell me this. And he doesn't yet know how to deal with those bad days. Don't tell me this. So five added to what? Don't tell me he's a carer. Don't tell me he's a carer. Sometimes just, I worry a bit because I love my mum and I don't like seeing my mum in that don't. state, but I just... Oh, you motherfuckers. To, they you know, are, they're bastards. Realize. They've done the old bait and switch. They've done the old bait and switch where they've turned around and they've said, by the way, this kid's a little shit. He's a little, he's a little troublemaker. You're going to get a little bit annoyed by him. And here's why he's a troublemaker, because he's going through something really traumatic. <laughs> something really traumatic that's messing with him and is going to continue to mess with him for a good few years. Fuck you. Fuck you, Channel 4. Fuck you, educating the East End. This shit stings. As a carer, how dare you? How dare you do this to me? Oh, fuck. Now I can't... <laughs> now I can't get mad at him. Now I can't be mad that, at him. Yeah, now I, I feel only sympathy. I need to, my mom needs Shit. <laughs> now and I and only feel sympathy to, and to empathy. And I can't hard. dislike him. It's about accepting oh, responsibilities. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. This is fine. Someone shoot me now. Just shoot me. Oh, I've just I've had enough. I just I've actually I'm actually. It's really disappointing. He's just he's blowing it really. But he's he's a kid. That's it. At the end of the day, he's a kid. And as adults, we struggle to cope. I still know that he can do it. Fuck. This episode's rough. This episode is rough. They drop that so it's late Thursday. into it as well. You can't react like that. So late into the episode and they drop it on me. Can you? You know that. Devontae's <sighs> disruptive behaviour in class is showing no signs of improvement since returning to mainstream lessons alone. Are you listening to this? Devontae, are you listening to this? Oh, no, Hello? Man. With time running out to prove that mainstream is the right place for him. Yeah. He's desperate for involvement with other people, isn't he? Mrs. Austin has come to see English teacher Mr. Skinner for help. I just fear that. That's the long-term fear, that he's going to be so busy trying to be popular that he's going to... That's, that's my, yeah, worry. Because you can see he's literally looks and he smiles and laughs at anybody that will give him the attention. Mm. Oh. But I don't know how we're going to crack that. <laughs> well, I think positive engagement with a lot of the uh, positive praise and engagement with him for work and then whenever he's doing the, the wrong things, then... Yeah, I just... Yeah, I'm not going to give up on him. What's no way, yeah. Okay. I appreciate you not giving up on him, though. He's doing a good job. He needs to put his phone away. Come on, Lots of children that come from the Fresh Start provision need a softer and a more kind of gentle approach. If you're too hard on him straight away, he's going to immediately respond. He's going to fight. He's going to, you know, take this kind of authority that's there and he's going to fight against it. What kind of music do you like? Rap, hip hop, hip hop, loads of music. Rap, hip hop. Yeah. Whenever you're looking at a song from one of those genres, you'll often find that the lyrics in the song connect back to the the life of the person that's writing and the experiences that they've had. What does the way that he speaks with the punctuation marks that have been used around him suggest about what kind of a writer he is? Because he has, he thinks he has authority to shout at people's... Whoa. Look at me. That's good. Really, really clever. That's Is good. This is good, Devonte. I'm delighted. Let's get it down on the page. So the writer uses... I believe that he's good at English because of his experience of the world. We were reading a text. Um, I didn't like when teachers sat next to me either. I didn't like and then when, the like, that they have with parents. you know, like and them Devonte sitting next to you, just they're so close, that. I didn't like that at all. Well, like Wait, leaning over me. I could do with you to Hated all of that. that idea, because it's great. Hated all of that. Now, let me ask you, what you mean, what you mean by the idea of hope on the children? I don't know. Are they going to be successful? Writer. 
That's good. It's great feeling that he's had faith in me and hope that I am going to be a better student than I was before and that I can succeed as I've been trusted to get back out. Um, this is I'm good. He's anyone. stepping in the right direction. Keep it going. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's 4 p.m. Right. Louis and Devonte are attending social skills class with teaching assistant Mr. Cleghorn. Well, what do you think social is? What's social? Devonte has been referred as part of the process of getting him back into mainstream lessons. Okay. What main this could be good. They're going to become mates. That They're going to become friends. Devonte, yo, dominator. If Louis is talking to me, just talk to me about anything, anything. Come on, just talk to me. I went on holiday. To Clacton. Ah? <laughs> well, how does that make you feel? Bad, because they're airing me. You don't feel like they're paying attention to you. It mm. feels rude. I don't know why Miss Austin wanted to send me to a social club. I think it's because she wanted to boost my confidence. Try not to do it too fast, Louis, yeah? Because... Uh, like, walk forward a little bit. Stop. <laughs> and you want to lift your... <laughs> Left leg up, higher, up, and you want to do it over. <laughs> and then you want to do it with your other leg. And then you want to do the same thing. Oh, <laughs> you did what I did. Exactly what I did. It hurts so much. <laughs> oh, my what do you think you learned? Okay. Just to open and talk to people who like to socialise. It's yeah, going that's... well. It's I going good. What... Yeah, that was the aim. And does it work? Why yes. were short ties a thing? Why was your tie being short Pray meant to be cool? Keep walking. Why was like that the cool Pray thing? Wait a little bit. Keep going straight forward. That's it. That's it. It's Friday. The day of the school concert. Oh In shit! Two okay. Weeks until the year 11 I'm start sat. I'm sat. I'm Charlie sat. is due to perform with his band. Charlie's performing today with his band. I'm sat. I'm sat. I'm sat. I'm ready. What else can go wrong? I'm sat. I'm ready. I'm I excited. Could have a bit of a moment on stage. Could do. But you just got to remember that it's only you guys up on that stage. It's not busy on the stage. No, but there are 200 people in all. Watching you. Watching you in awe because you've done something that they can't do. So think of it like that. All right, okay, we'll make a deal. If your leg shakes and you have a moment and you can't cope, I'll be there and I'll press the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go it. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. I'll see. <laughs> you'll be fine, Charlie. You'll be fine. She's a good we teacher. Really Let's get on with this. She's making it lighter. She's making it feel lighter. Oh, yeah. Less yeah. intense. Yeah. 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 Less full on. Mike. Maybe a little bit. You'll be fine. No, He's got some good yeah, mates around him. You can. No, it's done. It's made so I right, will get some fresh air. You can do this, Rolly. I can't. You can. Just standing there, looking at everyone, was making me have a fucking panic attack. I have every faith in you that you can do this. God, okay. Is he gonna? And now, the last try. 
And some of the finest musicians that the school has to offer. All you need is three words. They're coming, they're going, oh my god! Are they going on? Miss, be ready to catch me. I will be ready to catch you, go on. Miss, be ready to catch me. I will be ready to catch you. Oh, mate, they're coming, here they are! Okay. We're doing a mashup that we came up with, and we really hope you enjoy it. He's doing it! Not do it, not do it. Just stay as comfortable as it. you think you can. But that doesn't, it doesn't get you anywhere. And the longer this has gone on, the more I've realized that. So it's just become a case of suck it up. You have to do it. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't. Guys, group hug. Yeah, wait. Group hug. Gone, this might be the last time we ever do this. <laughs> mate, I am so proud of you. Oh, mate. He's got a good circle of people there. He's got. A, I really hope that they continue. That they continue to be mates. Uh, seven, I really eight, hope they continue being Norman. mates after it. Myself. Uh, Fifty-seven. I really I hope they continue optimistic. being mates because he's got, got a good circle of people the there. We're really and supporting him. I think that they're more than That's manageable now. now. Yeah. Last couple minutes. Oh, okay. I so where are they now? To get you out. You know that, don't you? Miss, I need you another hug. Devante began the school year in mainstream lessons. Good. Thank you so much, Miss. Why do oh, I feel oh, like it's gonna be a butt? Yeah. You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> he has recently returned to Fresh Start, but the school hopes he'll be back in Mr. Skinner's classroom. Come in. Come okay, in. cool. That's right. good, though. English. That's good. Him going back, it's not necessarily a failure. <laughs> Louis has started in year eight and has made lots of new friends. Good. Christ. Charlie got 10 GCSEs, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Including eight A stars and A's. Fucking Christ, he was smart, A's wasn't he? One A star. Oh my God, he was the genius kid. He's studying for his A levels and now has far few panic attacks. That's so good. What the Next fuck? Time. Your friendships get mashed up, screwed up, messed up. Oh, it's God, girls it's be... under pressure. Can we hurry up, please? Oh, you... the next episode is focus focusing on the girls. Oof. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be. That's gonna be something, isn't it? Okay. Let's have the music back on. And let's see who we can raid. Um, let's see, who's live? I don't know who will be live at this time. Who could be? Let's see. Oh, actually quite a few people. Okay, who are we looking at? Um, who could we raid? Uh, see, we raided MP uh, the other day, so I don't want to raid MP again. 
I think. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who's live. Let's see what people are doing. See what I could send you to that's going to feel like it fits. Okay, and then, um, hmm, hmm, what's, what's Owen, Owen's juice doing? Owen's still going on that fucking subathon. Gosh. Oh, I could never. He's doing subathon at the minute. I could never keep doing what he's doing. Absolutely mad what he's up to. Okay. I don't know. What's this? What's this? What is this? I think I know who I'm writing. I think I know who I'm writing. Derpy is currently... I don't even know how to explain what Derpy's currently doing. I'm gonna write Derpy is in pain. Well, not Derpy is in pain, Derpy in pain. I'm gonna write Derpy in pain. Because fucking hell. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, up, he's on a madness, is what he's up to. He's on a madness. Um, please do go support Derpy. Derpy's cool. Derpy's chill. Has the raid gone through? Raid? Go through? No, raid's not gone through. Okay, can't raid Derpy then. Raid hasn't gone through. I don't know. I think it's a thing on their end. Who could we raid? Um, let's see. What are people doing? I don't know, this is one of the toughest ones. There's not tons of... I mean, there's a good few people doing stuff. But it's like, who, who do I send you to? Um... I think I I think I just send you to Let's send you to Swell. We were doing a chill stream. I'm going to send you to Swell. Swell Entertainment. Can I send you to Swell? Why are none of my raids working? Can I raid anyone? Am I going to be forced to raid MP again? I want to raid MP again. I think we're going to be forced to raid MP again. I think we're going to have to. Alright, I think we're I think we're raiding MP again. I don't want to raid MP again, but we're raiding MP again. Because no one else- Yeah! What the fuck?! It's only letting me raid MP. I don't want to raid MP. Cancel, I don't want to raid- I don't want to raid- it. I don't want to raid MP. Cancelling the raid. Canceling the raid. Maybe we don't raid anyone today. I don't want to raid someone. I don't want to raid MP. <laughs> Mad love to MP. I don't want to raid him again. Uh, fuck. I guess we're not raiding anyone? My raids... I think it's because of uh their... Like, the people's settings on their end. As to why I can't raid people. I guess we're not raiding today. Sad times, but it's okay. We'll raid again. We'll raid on Friday. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my bed. I'm fucking tired. I hope you all have a very good day. Um, I will see you again on Friday, hopefully. If you're not in the Discord, you should join the Discord because we are going to have a movie night this weekend, I think, and it will be very fun. Okay. Bye-bye, all. Be brilliant. Be wonderful.